Welcome to the finale of the Knights of Everflame, a special eight-part adventure to celebrate the launch of Pathfinder 2nd Edition. I'm Jason Bullman, Director of Game Design at Paizo and one of the creators of the game. I'll be your host and Game Master for this final session, but before we begin, let's take a moment to introduce our players, and I'm gonna start right over here. Hi, I'm Rachel Seeley. Hey, I'm Erica Fermina. Hi, I'm Aki. Hi, I'm Gina DeVivo. Hi, Jeremy Stephen Walker. And now that we've gotten a chance to familiarize ourselves with our players one last time, let's begin. When we last left our intrepid band of adventurers, five heroes traveled to Last Wall under the guide of Lieutenant Ellicent and her faithful private car. You traveled there to learn to become knights. You were sworn. You were promised. You traveled to Castle Everstand, but upon arriving, you found the place in flames, the village in panic. The undead were rising. The whispering tyrant was free. Last wall had fallen. Lieutenant Ellison discharged her duty as she swore you all into the Brotherhood, making you knights. She charged you with one task. She asked you to escort a group of refugees out of this nightmare, to take them south to the place where she grew up, the small forest village of Kassin, on the northern border of Nirmathos. Taking your charge seriously, you gathered up the refugees and set out. Lieutenant Ellison stayed behind. Her and private car had another duty they had to fulfill. They had to go inside the castle and find out if there was anyone left to save. For three days, you traveled south, being hounded by the undead at every step, before eventually arriving at the town of Kassin. The forested community was unaware of the danger. The mayor seemed almost in disbelief. <clears throat> he refused to believe your tale, that the undead were about to march upon him, but you quickly proved him wrong with the help of Jonark Uptill, his good friend Holgast, and Arnama Lestrid, you managed to find uh, uh, some undead as they were closing into the town and prove it to them that this threat was real. From there, you fortified the village, spending days preparing for the eventual onslaught. And when it did finally come, it was worse than any of you could have possibly imagined. The dead came lumbering in, smashing through gates, breaking through walls, killing the guards, and nearly putting an end to all of you. You were successful, but at a terrible price. Holgast, who was holding off one of, the, one of the gates, was slain, his head chopped from his body by the reanimated private car, who apparently had joined the undead forces. He was a headless horseman, and he tossed Holgast's head at you in defiance. You managed to put him back in his grave. And throughout, you managed to hold your spirit along with that of the town. As dawn rose, one dark figure loomed in the shadows. And as the first rays of light approached it, it turned into mist and vanished. Later on that day, the dead were buried, the town mourned, the heroes celebrated. It was then, during that celebration, that Ar Arnama came back to you and said that her scouting had revealed a terrible truth. What you fought was only the vanguard of the undead army. The rest of the forces were still on their way. You had perhaps three days, four at most, before they arrived. And this force was larger than the last. All hope seemed lost, but that is when Jonark Uptail presented you with an ancient book telling the tale of the Everflame. A holy relic wielded by the town's founder long before Kassin was even a place. Ikat Kassin was an adventurer, and throughout his adventures, he had traveled to many uh, uh, dangerous locations, undertaking many fabulous adventures. And in one such, he traveled deep beneath the earth and stole a blessed relic. He brought it back to the surface and carried that blade to his dying day. And what was not known to modern villagers is that blade was driven into the wall of the back of his crypt. The, the hilt of it, which ended in a basket filled with flame, was thought to just be a simple ever-burning torch. 
The town formed a ritual around it where they brought the flame back every winter to celebrate the harvest and keep warm through the long, cold nights. Now that flame was needed again. Legend holds that it was a weapon against evil and that it had the power to put the dead to rest. You set out at once, making your way south, driving as fast as you could to the crypt. You fought many dangers on the way, but eventually you found your way there and delved deep into the crypt, down deep beneath the earth, until you found the crypt itself. But the blade was not there and neither was the body of the town's founder. Both had been taken. Vile forces had come up and stolen the Everflame back and taken it deep beneath the earth. Undeterred, you pressed onward, following the trail as best you could. You faced even more perils, having to cross an expansive chasm bridged only by thick cobwebs. Terrible driders were guarding this place. They came crawling out of the darkness to assault you. It was a close battle, but you managed to put an end to them as well, pushing ever deeper on. You almost got lost in a series of caves, but soon enough, you found your way to the Black Spire, a stalactite located in the middle of the lake. There, you enlisted the help of a blind Turkar boatman who brought you across the waters to the, the Twisted Tower where some foul ritual was occurring. You rushed up upstairs and listened at the door, hearing profane rites being performed. The dwarf made it seem that they were expecting more priestesses to arrive to help them complete the ritual, that those that they had were insufficient and had been trying for months to destroy something. Opening the door, your suspicions were confirmed. The ever flame, the sacred blade was floating in the middle of the room being attacked by darkness, but that darkness was not strong enough to quench its fire. There, there were four drow, including a powerful priestess. You charged into the room and, well, to be honest, scored an awful lot of crits and put an end to them before they could really do much <laughs> But yeah, we did. for a moment there, they were really scary. Uh, <laughs> the priestess tried to turn tail and flee and almost made it out. Her invisibility spell almost saw her through. But Linnaeus had to see invisibility prepared and a, a, a clever use of searing light put an end to the priestess. And that is where we ended our last session. The Everflame in your hands, your quest within sight. I think we should uh, <clears throat> make haste and go back. We have lost quite a lot of time in here. So let's can take us. I'm already gone. I'm already so at this point in time, you have now been traveling. Uh, remember, you got to the tomb uh, in the early afternoon. You've traveled for like six or seven hours now in the Darklands, desperately trying to find your way here. And even then, once you finally found your way here and made your way all the way up to the top, it has to be like well past dark now. It has to be like, yeah, well past dusk up on the surface. I mean, you can only guess. Down here in this lightless depth, who could know? And you have several hours before you can even make it back. The likelihood that something might arrive before we have uh, before we have healed up is a bad thing. So we're going to at least get out of here, across the lake, and into one of the other alcoves, possibly, that is not in mm -hmm. so much use. We can uh, we can make safe there and There was a sanctuary. Watches. Yes. Up oh, yes. Front. We should go to that sanctuary that and have a rest, and then we'll leave in the morning. But that will take several hours to get to. We've well, got to. We better get going. Yeah. Let's go we now. We have no other choice, though, but let's go. You will save yourself some time because when you come to that maze of chambers, you won't have to spend two hours trying to find your I way. You know the way to go. go. Yeah. So you make your way back down to the base of the spire. There you find yourselves on the shore of the lake. There is a post with a little brass bell. I'm gonna ring it. All right. Ring a ding ding. You ring the bell and after, I don't know, about 15 minutes or so, uh, there is a rowboat that approaches, approaches and it once again is the blind dwarf and he says, Ah, uh, mistresses, I didn't know you were going to be coming back so soon. Ah, uh, sorry I was late. I was trying to get a nap. Please, please do not hurt me any further. Fine. We won't. Just take us across the lake. In Abyssal, I'm going to say go. Uh, 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 can, can one of you give me an intimidate check since both of you are oh, attempting to intimidate him? I have a plus him? 10. Um, well, I can use my performance. Oh, then yeah, I'll do that. 
natural That's 20. That's a natural 20. Oh, very nice. <laughs> he, 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 he would weep if he still had eyes. Um, he, 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 uh, he's like, oh, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't mean to provoke your ire. I shall bring you more sacrifices, I promise. Uh, there, should be, so there should be plenty more blood. There are more of my kin nearby. And Unnecessary. I shall, I shall Unnecessary. Go now. Just take us across the he's, lake. He's like, oh, Oh, it's it's to be more of my fingers then, and he begins rowing you across the lake. <laughs> He's like, "Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I well, I won't be a very good rower once I le- lose more than two more on this hand. But I, I understand I've failed you. We will leave your fingers so you can row. Such benevolence as you, as you begin <laughs> to row across. He's like, "Such benevolence. I know that this only means you've concocted something even worse that I've yet to understand. Am I am I to be burned this time, or perhaps?" All my hair ripped from my body. Just are roll. To, are you to allow maggots to feed from me? Uh, no. right, uh, roll stop, or I'll kick you off the boat. He continues this <laughs> the entire way across. So he won't this shut is, up. This is actually, yeah. it feels terrible about it, but it's stifling your laugh the entire time mm-hmm. because it is just so, so comically sad. Excessive. He uh, he clearly has uh, spent a life of tortured servitude poor um, and uh, knows not but to surrender uh, to your to your wicked impulses. Mm-hmm. He uh, he rows you back to the other side and he says, I shall await my punishment. I know it is sure to come soon. If this is to be my end, please uh, uh, feel free to offer me to your, your demon lords. I, I expect free. that I will... No, he's evil. Don't do that. What? In, a, in Abyssal, I'm going to... I'm free gonna... to row back. <laughs> Take oh. a nap or else. <laughs> oh, that makes perfect sense. Row back to get my true punisher. I'm sure... Take a nap or punish. else. Your punishment uh, is a nap. Uh, my punishment running. is a nap? Yes. Run and go. <laughs> he's he's like, wait. Wait. Run, Are you drow? Run, run, run. Time to run. run. All right. Run, run. So, <laughs> you leave this poor... Poor dwarf behind this poor Dorgar, and 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 race back to the surface. Um, he's screaming that he'll enslave your children, and he's going to find you one day as soon as they they give him his eyes back. Um, so, you go racing out of this chamber. Uh, the 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 Dorgar boatman does not follow. Uh, mainly because he doesn't know where the passageway is. And uh, you hear his cries for some time as you make your way back toward the surface. The next few hours pass by in a bit of a blur. You are chasing, you are running through these these passageways as fast as your legs will carry you, knowing that time is against you. Uh, it, it is still treacherous going and not nearly as fast as you would like. And you are hampered by the fact that all of you are getting very tired. It has been a very long day. Mm-hmm. It started out with several hours of riding, and then it's been nothing but dungeon and cave exploration the entire time, much of which has come with a lot of physical climbing and, and squeezing through tight passages. And now you're doing it again on the way out. You then uh, continue to race back up to the surface and are able to crawl back up out of Cassin's tomb. Uh, would you like to stay in the sanctuary? You're actually not far away from the surface, but then you have to make your way up the Bramble Hill. Yeah, I think that for now, I, I think we just, we're, we're in a safe enough spot. We can block off the entrance and maybe get some sleep. Mm-hmm. All right. You all <laughs> fall into a fitful sleep. Mm-hmm. It's been a long day. There are dangerous things in front of you. You have dreams. They're different but all of them kind of feature the same thing. The town of Kassin, the people, your friends, <laughs> Asina, Arnama, Jonark, Colvin. You see them fighting for their lives. The undead are all around them. The town is in flames. Were you too late? The next morning, as you all awake and are beginning to rub some sleep out of your eyes, for just a moment, for just one brief moment, as you come out of your your fitful rest, floating at the door, you see a ghostly pale image of Cassin staring at all of you. 
We didn't get his body. He sees you there. And just for a moment, just as just as the, the sleep fades from your eyes, you see the image of him with a slight smile. Was it a dream? Was it the sleep fading from you? You can't quite be sure. I doff, Maybe it was Cassin. I doff my hat and hold it to my chest. Sorry we didn't get your body. He's gone. Oh, was he even see. there? Did you see? You can't be sure. I, I, I thought I saw a I know he's a I'm quite used to seeing that. I think we should go. Yes, let's go to our horses. Mm, they have waited for us long enough. He was smiling. He was smiling. And I think that was a good job, folks. Get out. Okay. You gather up your belongings and make your way back outside. Climbing up the Bramble Hill is a challenge. Can we take the same path back? Fire, fire, You, you fire. can if you want to take damage. Fire, oh, oh fire, fire, oh, yeah. fire, fire. It, that's still equally yeah. challenging yeah. though, right? I mean, you, you can burn Bramble, but it's it's so a living have, plant, so it doesn't We had the burn same before. two choices we had last time. We go fast and we take damage, or we go slow and we take no Well, damage. you can I, try another sur a survival check to try and find a oh, better path. I, I will do that. Because the first time it wasn't too successful. I miss tea biscuit. Oh, that would be a 33. Wow. Uh, you were like, you know what? That path was terrible. This path, however, we can just zoom right up. Um, zoom. And you are able to climb all the way up in just an hour. Yes. And none Perfect. of you take any damage. Oh, yes. 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 I should have Perfect. seen this path the first time. I think I was very flustered. Oh, no, you can see it better from the bottom. I can see why you wouldn't have seen it. Uh, this morning, all of you were able to wake up regain your spells and stuff. You, you, you packed up, but you didn't just race right out. Uh, all of you who are spellcasters uh, need to re-prepare your spells, um, so uh, you, you do that. Um, also, you spend some time with the, with the Everflame, with the sword, mm -hmm. and um, you learn a, a, a lot about it. Um, in your prayer and meditation to Saren Ray and using Detect Magic, you, you manage to kind of understand what the blade is capable of. So it is a plus two striking, flaming, disrupting longsword, um, which makes it a, a ridiculously powerful sword. It is a very powerful weapon against undead. In addition to that though, and that's what it does for the person who is wielding it, you also know that you can use it to share the ever flame with uh, as many people as you can get around it who can touch it. And in sharing the Everflame, oh the Everflame will surround them and envelop them. It will give them uh, protection against mm -hmm. uh, evil uh, uh, spells and effects, negative energy and stuff like that. That will not hurt you as much, so like harm spells and stuff won't do as much damage. Um, uh, evil creatures and undead in particular that hit you with a melee attack will take damage in return. Nice. Oh. Uh, and while you are wielding it, while the Everflame is about you, and it will stay about you in this way uh, for a whole uh, minute, um, the Everflame, while it is about you, um, you can unleash it, causing the effects to end for you in a, a blast of holy flame that can hit any one target within 60 feet wow. and does a whole bunch of damage. And once you guys use it, I'll tell you what it does. Any, um, all targets? One, one target. target. It's like a ray of flame that comes Got flying it. out of you. I Wait, love so if we catch the flame, then we're engulfed in the flame. That, that is a use of the sword. Like you, 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 are, you are basically performing a, a minor ritual. Oh. It takes two actions and everyone around it uh, who is adjacent to you can share the Everflame. Once that's been used, everybody around them gets the Everflame for a full minute. Okay. Um, once that's been used, by the way, mm. you can't use it again until you spend at least 10 minutes in quiet contemplation. It works like a focus mm. power. Mm. So once it's been used, you have to be out of combat for at least 10 minutes and then you can refocus on it and regain that usage to share with other people. Um, I should also note that while uh, you are surrounded by the Everflame, all of your all of your attacks are treated as uh, disrupting versus undead. So you deal wow. an extra D6 whenever you hit undead. Oh, and it doesn't, that doesn't go away if we move away from it. Once we've touched once it. You, once you have the Everflame, it's like an effect on you. Okay. We all get to use this power, right? that is so great. I uh, but, never but been the, so excited to but, go to battle. I know, right? But, but the sword itself is, 
Yeah, it is That's even nice. a level above that. Almost all of those things are redundant with what the sword already does, mm-hmm. so you already kind of get that. They wow. get an uh, equal but a little different version. You learn that as part of your preparations to Saren Ray. That's and fantastic. As, as you are preparing the sword. special sword that you learned about in your oh, cloister. Yes, very much so. That is amazing. This is an incredible sword, and it's incredibly powerful. I have no idea how it was safe down here for so long. Because people kept it a secret. The villagers... They thought it was a torch. (laughs) But the people on the other side of that cavern wall. Who knows how long they've been trying to destroy that thing, though? How long they've been trying to get it? I I wonder if that would take a lot of digging. It did look like the the back of that crypt probably collapsed within the past year. Hmm. Um, It wasn't, like, covered in dust and everything. It did look kind of recent. I wonder if they're... If they're... Uh, retrieving of this sword somehow influenced how things happen, uh, how things uh, unfolded in last wall. Could be definitely related. Such mysteries will have to wait. As you are climbing out of the bramble, you make your way. Uh, so yeah, now back up to the bramble. You climb your, your way out, and you and you finally make your way to your horses. Now, if you recall last time, it, um, it took you. Uh, a full day riding just to make it from Casson to Gray Lake. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then you spent another three or four hours riding further south to the crypt. So you're more than a full day's ride. Well, more than an ordinary full day's ride. And we are on day three, correct? This is day three. Mm-hmm. If, if Arnama's predictions are correct, the earliest you can get there will be after nightfall mm-hmm. on day three. I think we don't have a choice. We definitely cannot afford to delay. No. And we know the quickest and clearest path, so let's do it. Would Wanderer's Guide give us any kind of boost to time? I'm afraid not. The path that is in front of you is not uh, particularly difficult to travel, and Mm. you know where you are going. Mm. You begin to ride. Mm. Driving yourselves north, uh, you quickly begin Mm. uh, making your way uh, through through the Fangwood. Um, you do your best. I mean, you can't push the horses at a full gallop. They'll be exhausted in only a few mm-hmm. hours. Yeah. So you really kind of just have to ride them normally, them along, which is which is maddeningly frustrating because you know that the hours are slipping by. I keep looking at the sun in the sky and kind of muttering to myself, it's like, it's okay, my God. Yeah, as that shadow slowly moves across the path because the sun is making its way, you feel that sense of urgency. The, the minutes are rolling past, um, and you continue riding as quick as you can, making your way north. I will make you proud. Give me the strength. Who are you talking to? Oh, remember, like I said, making a call home, as it were. We saw them, yes. We've seen we've seen you use that stone a couple of times for various reasons. Oh, it's the people in the mist, don't you remember? Uh, yes, I remember, but who are they? Oh, oh, uh, it's my family. The what? ones who have been fighting at the last wall for a thousand years. So your ancestors? Yeah. That is really, really neat. Yeah, do you want to see them? Uh, I can see them? I. Well, I mean, I can. I, I don't know if you can. I will try to look into this stone. What do I see? For you, I'm afraid it's just a simple polished stone. You this, see, you see you nothing see of what she says. Sees. Do you see yourself? I now see. look behind you. It, it, I'm afraid I know nothing about my ancestry or anything, and I, I don't see any of your people back there. Just myself. Oh. Sure, it does make sense. It does possible. Omelet. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I see that. For you as well, it's just a polished rock. Apparently, uh, only Omelet can see her family in the rock. I see nothing. But that is amazing. I mean, I believe you. I don't think that you yeah, are. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Obviously, there is some power in that. I, I. Is that what you're hitting when you hit your pocket? Yeah. Ooh. I sort of... I hadn't practiced with it really in a long time. It was sort of passed on to me as a as a, a, a sort of parting gift as I left to come here. And uh, it was, it's always sort of, sort of been there as a way to sort of honor everyone. But when I brought it with, 
they sort of were able to help me, move me, guide me along. You're very lucky. You mm-hmm. are. To have your lucky. whole family with you all at once. Oh, yes. Sure. Just be thankful they can't speak, right? <laughs> <laughs> Liz kind of tugs at their hat and like kind of fingers the bow on, on uh, the ribbon on their bow. It is a, a good thing to be able to reach back into the past and see the people you've lost. Not all of us have such a privilege. Please say hello to them for us. I will. Tell them we're going to do our best to take care of you. Trust me, they've been watching. Ridiculous holds his amulet of Shellen. After feeling the emotion that Omelet feels, he's overcome with a wave of emotion. Father, be with me today. For I need you. I need your guidance and I. I need Shellen to be with me today and be with us and protect us. Show me the way back to you. He stops and looks around and everyone's kind of looking at him. I'm, I'm sorry we couldn't find the rose. The rose? Yes. It's something that he's looking for and I said I would help and... I haven't seen any roses. What is the significance of this rose? I, uh... If you don't mind my asking, I apologize if I am prying. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's I who should apologize. No. I feel I've been very cold with all of you. You can keep your secrets. You're entitled. I understand, but I'm not, that's not my way. It has been a, uh... A hard 20 years. I lost my father when I was very young. And he was killed by an assassin who I've yet to find. Oh, no. I, I lost my parents to bandits on the road when I was very young. I don't remember their faces. I never knew mine. That assassin took something from him. It has belonged to my family for generations. It matches this. Oh, another another rose like that? Exactly. Oh, well done. I'm not going to find it out here. Why did they take it? My father was a very famous man. I shouldn't do this. What? To what? Ridiculous. Hey! Ridiculous takes his mask and he pulls it up. He shows all of you. My father was one of the most famous ministers of Shellen. For generations, or, well, Shellen was a part of our family. When uh, my father and my mother met, and you see the elf ears and the human face, my, fa- my mother was an elf, my father a human. When they would married, they uh, traveled the world holding major meetings and retreats and preaching the word of Shellen. At a retreat, I was 10 years old and my little sister was only three. My father was giving a speech in front of thousands of people. A man came and he slit his throat right in front of me. 
in front of all of us. He took the amulet. And he said, Shelen doesn't exist. And he vanished. Along the way of my life, I, I, I promised my mother, I said, I, I will find it. She said, no, vengeance is not the way. Shelen says, vengeance is not the way. But I vowed to find that because it's the only connection I have to my father. I heard over the years that the amulet ended up at last wall. And my only way to get there was to join the army. I don't know if I will ever find that. But it has led me to all of you. And perhaps that's what my father wants. Achilles, you don't... Uh, you don't need the amulet to be close to your father. Because you... He's in you. When you look at your face, it's, it's your father's face. I know it is, because that's how parents work. I know that. I know that very well. He's always with you. Amulet or not. And you'll honor your father with the work that you have done, helping other people. You've been more than invaluable as a friend Absolutely. and a protector. Mm. I know that Shannon is real. I have seen her work through you. Mm -hmm. And I'm someone who doesn't much believe in anything. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Thank you. I suppose I don't need this anymore. No! <laughs> it yes. sure does stink. The ears are a surprise. I was not expecting that. Well, mm. Oh, I was imagining something quite grotesque. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I some was fun and spooky. Yeah, oh. very, very handsome. I know. Yeah. Why cover that up? <laughs> He's actually surprisingly handsome. Uh, yeah, your your quest has been such a confusing one. It's been so challenging, and you know, every time you found a piece of it, it's been a different description of who has had it. You've only tracked down a few of the pieces, and there's still so many pieces left but you've never been able to get a good description of the person. At first it was the man, then it was uh, a, a, a woman, then it was, and it, it's just been a confusing chase. I was to kind child. of I don't... To kind of let some of it go, at least now, is, is it, it brings you only, only peace. The miles continue to ride by. Oh, this is freeing. It's nice to feel the breeze on your uh, face. It's very nice. I know. It's pretty we might need to get you a good exfoliant. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to stop and pick some, some aloe. I, I mean, I can some clay from get some. Look, I, 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 as we go, uh, because we probably have to stop every now and again to let the horses do what they need to do, I can forage for, like, you know, a few things. Do a, like a quick herbal. face mask. Oh, I still yeah, have yes. some rosemary oh. if you want to rub that on your face. Oh, we, can, okay. we can do a quick, you well, know. There's a whole bundle. Oh, you know, yes. Uh, spa day for him. Uh, Need how long have you been wearing that mask? Ten minutes far. <laughs> uh, two, three years. Was That's yeah. so long to be without any kind of touch on your face. It's been very long. Very lonely. Well, that you're not alone anymore. <laughs> Welcome to the world. <laughs> the miles fly by. Soon it's noon. The sun is high above. You continue to make your way as best you can. You are right. You do have to stop to let the horses rest for at least a brief period. Let them let them water. graze a little. Let them have a little water. Otherwise, they're just going to collapse. But you do push them as, as hard as you can. Time is not on your side. And as you continue to ride, by midday, uh, you make it back to Serpent Lake. 
Uh, and then, which I suppose is its name now, the lake with the snake. Uh, <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> with, the, with, the, with, with the snake. The, with the snake who do attack. Dead snake. Um, all right, so uh, you continue to uh, uh, ride uh, uh, further north, in, deep into the afternoon. Um, the, the, the journey takes you uh, back to the Broken Glade, but by the time you reach it, you arrive at the Broken Glade, and it's dusk. You still have several hours to go, and it is dusk. The sun is starting to creep down toward the horizon. Do we see any smoke on the horizon? Yeah, with all the trees and everything in the way, uh, you know, you, you get a brief moment to look um, north uh, when you're in the Broken Glade, but the moment you go back into the, the Fang Wood, is you can't see anything. Is it possible to anything. climb one of the trees and get a higher vantage point? Uh, if you want, yeah, you could do that. It would give you a better view. I would like to try, because I don't, I'm, I will be very honest with all of you, I do not think, unless we ride very, very hard and possibly injure our horses to the point where they will not survive the trip, I do not think we can make it until very, very, very late tonight, early in the next morning. From here, you're probably about three and a half, four hours away. And it's so that would put us about maybe nine or ten in the evening. Yeah, it's probably more like ten. I mean, if, we even if we arrive it. in the middle but of a battle, would, we might save yeah. any lives. Yes. I, might, I do mm. want to take the chance to. Cl- I do want to take a quick moment to climb a tree and like g- see if I can get a, a look into the distance. Mm. See if it's already under siege. Yeah, yeah, that way we know at what pace we need to go. All right, you uh, give me an athletics check to climb up into a tree. Uh huh. Mm, it's only a fourteen. Uh, 14. Yeah, you struggle a bit, but uh, uh, you have to try a, a, a little bit more, but eventually you make it up. It, it takes you a little bit of time, but not Sorry. not terribly much. It costs you 10 minutes. <laughs> but you do manage to get up to a point where you, you have a much better vantage point. You can see the thin little uh, lines of, of smoke from wood fires uh, from Cassin far to the north. Um, it doesn't appear that there's anything bad. You don't see like thick plumes of fire or anything, like an entire village in flames. Yeah. Um, so, uh, from this distance, apparently right now, everything seems okay. It's six o'clock and so far, all's well. Mm. We should ride until we have to go to sleep and then sleep a couple I think hours we will, as long as we can. I think, I think we, we will make it before then. Okay. I think, but I, th- I don't think that we have to break the horses to get there. We can continue at the... At the you will, trip, you will not, exhaust yes. the horses, but yes. you will not... Hurt probably them. hurt them too okay. badly. Yeah, because um, I don't they, want to break them to the point yes. where they can no longer. Yeah, no, but you, you're riding them well beyond their their stamina at this yeah. point. So you're you're going keep, to exhaust like, them. Like gently encouraging yeah. Magali and yeah. like you know pep talking her mm-hmm. as much as possible. All right. And uh, I'm like kissing Bowie's nose. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Me, thank you. Like, I'm sorry. Thanking her as much you. as possible because I don't exactly have the ability to soothe animals much, but I'm using what I know about nature and about uh, ran- scouting and rangering that I've done to kind of keep the horse calm. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. So um, you do what you can to to nurture the horses, and uh, you continue to ride north. <laughs> um, you actually find that although you think you're only about three hours north. As night begins to fall fully, uh, you, you can't quite keep up the same pace. It's it's significantly more dangerous to do so. The horses can't see as well. We can um, light everything up. Yes. You, you, yeah. you, you totally can. But even then, the yeah. horses still get kind of skittish mm-hmm. and don't canter as fast in the gloom. Well, I would rather um, do it safely than... Yeah. yeah. So sure. I, I slow down to kind yeah. of accommodate them. But but every single bit of delay, you know, adds to adds to your dread, and uh, you you continue to make your way there. And soon the clear night sky is is overhead. The stars start to peek out. There are no clouds in the sky above. A pale moon begins to rise, and you continue riding. One hour, two hours. Three hours. It's almost 11 o'clock, you would guess. It's not midnight just yet, but it's, it's getting very close. When you finally reach the farms and fields that are on the outskirts of town. What do I see? And it's then that you see the smoke. 
As you draw close, you hear horns bang, bells sounding. And this is similar to the first night. Time's up. The undead have arrived. We just at the beginning. You go riding yeah. as fast as you can now. I'm so sorry. Making your way back to the town. The horses are in a f- in a in a froth, but you you push them uh, as you make your way up toward the town. You arrive at the southern gate to find a wall of dead mm-hmm. surrounding the town, attempting to beat their way through the gates and walls. The, the, the gates have been fortified in the past few days. Good. It looks like they've done everything they could to build the barricades. And you're at the south gate, which was already Worse. reinforced. No, the south gate was already reinforced mm. and was never damaged. It right. was the north right. gate that was wrecked. Yeah. Remember, the south yeah. gate is on, the, on that south side of town. Well, we're talking wall of dead. I mean, how many? Uh, down here, there's you can probably see uh, 40 or 50 zombies and skeletons beating at the wall. They're not all at the gate. Some of them are at the wall, like trying to climb up over it. Uh, over on one side, you see a thin, lithe little thing climb up the wall and hop over into the town. It looks like the undead are assaulting this town in oh. force. The one thing that is a problem that you see is another one of these undead hulks, the big one, is is making its way here. You can see it stomping uh, slowly up towards the gate. You're not sure how long this attack has been going on. You don't know the condition of the rest of the town. You clearly see fires inside the town. Something bad is happening here. It's been going on for a, at a bit at least, but the south gate looks intact. Time to light it up. What do you do? How far away are we? Uh, right now, you're at uh, you're at a spot about 200 feet away. You just kind of came out of a small uh, cluster of trees. You're still on horses, so you can cover some of that distance pretty quickly. And this isn't, I'm not asking you to roll initiative at 200 feet. Uh, you can decide to close that quite a bit before you, before you do that, because otherwise the first three rounds of combat are, I guess I move. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a delight. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to. So. Okay. So you can close some of that range if you want. Mm-hmm. You don't it's, have it, to, but. I think uh, one thing that we probably should do is we should get as close as we can with the horses and then we need to get off of them. Yes, yes. I don't I, want to take time. These aren't you? war horses. Yeah. No, 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 but I'm riding a pony. It's, yeah, it's not just that. It's going to just cause all kinds of extra confusion we don't need. So as soon yes. as we get close enough to even bother rolling initiative, we need to get off the horses. I mm. need yes. to get in there. Yes, mm-hmm. we know. But the gates are closed. We can clear it. The path, if you... If there's anyone on the other side to even let us in. Well, if the gate's closed, there's probably a live so, guard on the other side. So, remember, each gate has a guard tower. Yeah. There is a guard tower here, and... Close. You, you, you think, in the gloom, you can see someone firing a oh, bow oh, down oh. into the... Then I, there are guards. I'm going to ride up, and I'm going to hold my flaming sword above into my the, head, right... Not th- as close as we can get, okay. and then hop off. I'm not gonna. All right. We had we talked. Uh, <laughs> well, you said I'm gonna ride up. I was like, yeah. Ah, just go charging about. up, <laughs> yeah. flaming sword. Yeah. She's not gonna get super close. She's just yeah. going to okay. ride like mm-hmm. as far as I can. Yeah. Pulling yeah. a Gandalf. In yes. Case you guys uh, have figured it out. <laughs> it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> All right. The 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 five of you go charging out of the yeah. forest. The ever flame held he- high above your head. When you hold that, I hold uh, my rock above. <laughs> uh, as you as you, down. As as you go charging up, even the undead, for a moment, pause and kind of do the. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like, do the shield bash with the sword, and uh, I light. I use the light cantrip on the shield, so now I'm all yeah. oh, light. The, the, even the giant kind of stops and just kind of squints <laughs> in your direction with its rummy kind of dead, filmy eyes, uh, and uh, picks up one of the zombies next to it in yep, anticipation of needing to throw it, and you close, let's say... 120 feet, that's three full moves for the horses before you hop off. Sounds good. Um, We can easily call that the range of engagement. So you're about 80 feet away from the gate. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're only about 60 feet away from the edge of the undead. Right. There's a lot here. It looks like clustered around this gate, there's about half a dozen zombies, maybe the same number of skeletons, one of these hulks, and maybe a couple of those lithe little ghouls running okay. around. Cool. So there's kind of a mix of undead here. Um, there are more undead. Yeah. 
but they're they're further along the wall yeah. trying to mm -hmm. climb it or bash through it in various yeah, spots. Some of them have, take care of this big old chunk of Some stuff. of them have crude weapons and are literally just trying to cut through the logs of the wall, which I mean they can probably do if they have a few hours. Uh, but it's going to be a bit. Okay. So at this point in time, why don't I get everyone to roll initiative? Scouts what egg? Hey, you guys! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. Oof. Mm. Mm. Okay. All right. Linnaeus, what do you have? 27. 27 is pretty good. Liss? 32. 32 oh. is even better. Omelet? 25. 25 is okay. Tariel? 18. 18 is a number. Ridiculous. <laughs> I would have thought that with the mask off, I'd seven, <laughs> 17. 17. You're used huh? to it. Used to being able yeah. to see. Just, it's like, yeah. There's a lot of wind very, coming yeah. at your face. Yeah. 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 What's what's all this breeze? Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. All right. It makes my eyes water. Yeah. Yeah. I, had a, I had an eyeball windshield. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. So wet. All right. So top of the order <laughs> is Liss. I will mark the big Hulk. Yeah. As my prey. Uh, and, nice. and as a note, just for everybody here, I assume you have your weapons drawn. Oh, I yes. assume yes. you've dismounted. I've raged. Oh, yes. And, and uh, I will give you the free rage action. Yep, yep. thanks. Yep. You right. I, I, I you lifted said you when were... you, yeah. I rallied behind you. Yeah. yeah, I'm not moving thanks. away from you at the moment. I, I have range, so I'm going to stick real close to you right now, because you've got the pretty sword. Um, yeah. And I am going to mark that big hulking beast my prey, and I'm going to take my hunted shot. Sure. Uh, okay, that is a uh, uh, 27. Nice. Uh, 27 is a hit. Okay, and that is going to be this and two of these. Uh, that is eight plus one, so a nine. Nine points of damage. Right, and then shot number two. All right, that's not bad. Uh, that is going to be a 24. 24 also hits. Right. Oh, Whoa. nope. Go back in there. Uh, uh, only two damage. Two damage. And then I'll take my th third shot. Write these things down. Mm. Um, that's only an 18. Mm -hmm. An 18 will miss. And I think I still have one more action. If all already... you're doing is firing the bow, no, you had to mark him as your target. So that okay. was one. Then I'm done. Then you got two more, then one more. I'm okay. done. Okay, yeah. Uh, Linnaeus. Should I pop my special ability and get everyone the, we're doing it. Oh yeah. Please. Okay. Uh, All right, you, that takes two actions. Okay. And it confers the benefits of the Everflame to everyone. <laughs> okay, and then with my last action, I'm running in. All right, with your last feet. with your last action, you move in 25 feet closer. So uh, the the Everflame radiates out from, from, from the blade, engulfing <laughs> all of you, you are now uh, uh, lined by this luminance of flame. You now shed light, by the way. Um, so you don't need to carry torches or anything like that. You are a torch. Yeah. Um, uh, that does have the downside, though, of basically marking you, I mean, Go from a mile away. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can, so if we can draw people, uh, draw them away from the gates, yes. then that's fine. Yeah, you are you are now a glowing beacon. Good. <laughs> Good. A glowing beacon of hatred. Come to um, so you have moved uh, 25 feet closer. Uh, that put that, that does for us. Sorry, I don't remember. Yeah, so it, it does counter damage anytime something attacks you. It gets hurt. Uh, yep. It lasts for. Was that a nope or a yes? No, that's a yes. Oh yes. Okay, it lasts for one minute. Um, you can unleash it in a burst. Um, you can unleash it as a ray that targets a, oh, one ray, person, yes. but that ends it. And that ends it, okay. and then um, all attacks are disrupting. Yeah, and so, if they attack you, they take damage. Yeah, so, yeah. that was the yeah. That, that's the damage. that's the big Counter thing. Okay. And you also have some protection against negative yes, energy effects. Um, so uh, if they attack you, Harm. they're going to end up taking some damage. Okay. Uh, the amount of that damage is a d6 fire and a d6 positive. Okay. So if they are undead, it hurts. Do you them. want us to just roll that? Uh, yeah. So whenever okay. I attack you, I will say, "Give me some damage for them them attacking you," and okay. all you have to do is roll two d six. Cool. Perfect. Thank okay. You. Uh, if you get hit with a with a harm effect or anything like that, I'll let you know what the resistance is. Okay. It's, it's an amount. Um, uh, it's it's ten. I mean, it's not a big deal, but uh, I'll 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 reduce the damage 
dealt to you. Okay. Um, Thank you. All right. And if once someone unleashes the 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 blast of Everflame on a target, I'll 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 explain what it does. Then I I don't want to ruin the fun. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> That is uh, two of your actions, and then you move, so that's all three. One. That was Linnaeus' omelet. <laughs> okay. So, so as I said, <laughs> you are 80 feet away. No problem. From the wall, 60 feet away from the trailing edge of the dead. Are they like Because they're about 20 feet deep. They're like clumped together, right? The, all of the ones I described, there's about half a dozen zombies, half a dozen skeletons, and the Hulk. Yeah. Those, they're all clumped right around the door because they're trying to bash it in. Great. The Hulk is in the back, though. That's fine. I'm not going for the Hulk. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, um, being sort of enveloped by this light and just being a dwarf, not really understanding Saren Ray quite well at the top of your friendship, but I understand fully the power of the sun now <laughs> and stare at that door and with the cry, the, the, the battle cry of century of angry dwarves. <laughs> Go sudden charging straight through. <laughs> I love omelets so much. So much. <laughs> All right, so uh, what are you sudden charging? I'm sudden charging like <laughs> the, the clump lot. that's in front of the door. Okay, so you can end up next to the giant, or you can end up no, next I to a bunch of a bunch of. I want to nobodies. A bunch of nobodies. I want to ants. I'm clearing right. the ants away. All right, you're clearing the ants. All right, you go running up to a horde of there's uh, a zombie and a ghoul and a skeleton. I want to be around all of them. <laughs> oh, well, you go running up to the edge of them. You can't yeah. run through them because they're clustered. No, no, no. I just, I, yeah. like, if, if there's three, yeah. right up in their face. Yeah, that, that's what there is. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. All right. <laughs> okay. How many of them can I get around me? Yeah. <laughs> 25. Uh, crit. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> They're babies. That, so a, do you know what that that's a, means? That's a, you that's get a, to sweep. This is even no. This is even better. So that's uh that's that's against the zombie. That's right? against that's the a, zombie. That's an ordinary slow moving zombie. So that's sure. a crit. So that's a crit. Yeah. So now so since I crit, <laughs> and there's a thing next to it. Yeah. I have a brutality specialization thing. So while raging, I gain critical specialization with melee attacks. So, and what's the critical specialization for an ax? So that means that if uh, an, an adjacent target, if its attack, if its AC is also lower than what I rolled, it takes equal damage. Um, oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> I deal oh, yes. equal damage to that creature equal to the result of the weapon damage die that I roll. Including extra die if there's a proficiency, but there isn't. All right. So you do one die of damage. Yeah. 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 yeah you do I, some extra I, I do the equal damage, just not the doubled damage yeah. of yeah. the crit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a four. Oh. 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 Right. That one's not great, but that one is. Okay. So 14, 18, 19, 19, 20, 44 damage to the zombie. Did you add the D6 from the. Display? No, I didn't! <laughs> Doing this quick little heart one. It's a one. It's just, just a one. one. Okay. Just a one. Just one. That gets doubled too. So two. two. So forty eight. Is eight? eight. Eight damage. Forty eight damage. Yeah. I don't remember. Because yeah, it was yeah. twenty two. Yeah. Twenty four. Twenty four. Twenty four. Twenty four. Twenty four. Six. Forty six. Yeah, you slice right through that guy. Uh, that, that, that zombie. That zombie collapses really to the nice. ground. And the other uh, that, zombie <laughs> that takes fifteen. Yeah, and Ooh, that one, Ooh. that one's still standing, but it looks really badly hurt by that. Um, but yeah. Oh, there's more. <laughs> there's more. <laughs> oh, I love so because I killed one, I get the reaction of my cleave, oh, yeah. and I just get to keep going through them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he gets it. Take it gets out. It too. This is why I wanted the little boys. I love watching this. <laughs> 14, so that's uh, 14 plus 15. Uh, that's a crit. That's a crit. Yeah, that's a crit. That's a crit oh, against no. the ghoul next to it, uh, which is what you dealt damage there, to. Is, there, is, is it just a straight or is there another um, one? There, there's a skeleton on the other side of the ghoul. <laughs> so that one's also gonna take equal damage. <laughs> Cause you crit again. Cause I crit again. Oh, I rolled this. Oh, and I rolled a friggin' 20, of course. <laughs> oh, another 12. Okay. So 20. 
So 40 damage to the to <laughs> that guy. And then uh oh and, and the six! <laughs> and the six! <laughs> 46! So you, your 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 axe just slices through a skeleton and a ghoul, and you're not even done swinging yet. I'm not. The skeleton next to it <laughs> is just made of bone, so it doesn't have the facial expressions. The just but rips through it. You're pretty sure you just saw its bone ridge go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's yeah. the sound effect. Yeah, like it's no. Obliterated. It, it literally is like, oh no. Uh, <laughs> Now, uh, now the only thing is you don't have another reaction, so you can't cleave again. That's okay. But you do still but have one more attack. I still, I do. <laughs> yeah, that was only two of your actions. Uh, do Okay. Uh, uh, so, right. and and you did the other one too, the the uh, the thirteen and the six. Yeah. Okay. Oh, to the skeleton. Yeah. Oh, that destroyed him too. All right. Never yeah. Mind. Oh, you that's the equal. Right. And you have six. one more. So it's only the one skeleton that's still up, right? So, so no, here's she... what happened. Uh, 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 what Omelet just ran straight up to <laughs> a, a group of three undead. There were three that were kind of next to each other. Thousands she of voices. Ran right up to her. them and just swung through all three of them, and all three of them were destroyed. <laughs> So instead of instead of having to spend your third action to attack the skeleton, you just blew up the skeleton with bits from the ghoul next to him. You sudden charged, yes. you caused a crit yes. that dealt damage to the guy next to him, then you cleaved into that guy, you killed him, which caused damage to the guy next to him, because which caused him to explode. One. So that was all just because of your two action charge. Yes. So you still have one action left. But there's nobody next to you now. You killed them all. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a it's a big problem to have. You kill too many monsters. <laughs> That's okay, incredible. good problems. Who else is near me? There's no one standing next to you, but you do still have another action. Who is the closest? There's more undead all around you. You're kind of out of out of additional targets. You you either have to move or do something else. Okay, I I, I charge at the last three because I mean right. they're gonna come at me anyway. Yeah, all so, right. So so you so move up. You battle move up cry the into the air and <laughs> somersault into them. <laughs> so uh, you go charging into more undead. You all see Omelet go running up there and just undead or falling. What a memory and of rise. last wall. So, uh, does anybody else just love her? Yes. <laughs> You're all just like, I, I think I think I think Omelette probably has this. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, yeah. So uh, so uh, uh, unfortunately, now the undead get to go. So oh, I'm going to no. start out uh, with oh, the no. the horde of undead. Uh, a, a lot of them are not really paying too much of attention to 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 any of you. Uh, but the ones that are right up near Omelette certainly do. Uh, there are two zombies there. They are both going to start swinging at you. The first attack is going to miss. The second attack is also going to miss because I rolled very poorly. The uh, other one mm -hmm. is then going to take an attack, and that is probably going to hit. That is an armor class of 26. Yes. Yeah. Um, so let's see. They take uh, damage when they hit you. Can I just say barbarians are fun? Mm. Uh, <laughs> and you were so nervous about playing one. Was! Please <laughs> take uh, 11 points of damage, and it, and it grabs you. Oh, bummer. But, but also roll. Oh, Ooh, yeah. it hurts. And please deal 2d6 damage to me. No. Wow. Twelve. <laughs> the zombie, uh, the the ever flames rise up. The zombie as it hits you and scorch I, and burn it. I just <gasps> open my chest to it and dare it to touch me. <laughs> uh, that doesn't stop it. It's its flesh is burning and like melting off of its body, but it still grabs you. That's okay. Um, the last thing that's near you is just a common skeleton. It's going to swing a scimitar at you, and uh, it goes scimitar then claw. The claw is going to be a 22. Okay. Is that enough to hit you? Oh, no. Nope. 22 while raging? No? No, no. 23. Not anymore. All right. Uh, and uh, that's it for them. The rest of the skeletons and zombies and whatnot, uh, uh, mind you, there's there's less of them now. There was 14. Now there, there's 11. So three of them uh, just attacked uh, Omelette. Of, of them, the other eight 
continue to bash at the door and some make attacks up at the guards uh, uh, because some, uh, at least one or two of those skeletons has bows, have bows. And they fire up at him. Um, uh, the, 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 there's a, there's a, a clearly a Kassin a militia uh, a man and a woman up in the tower and uh, the man takes an arrow to the shoulder. Yep, <laughs> and uh, that looks like it hurt him. Uh, next up, him well. the zombie Hulk. Mm-hmm. The first thing it does is fling a corpse at you. Okay, of course. I'm kind of a target. I get big, it. It's big, okay. Target. I get it. I get it. Especially when we're standing to, next to each other. I love the mechanic fling a corpse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love uh, mechanic. Armor class 28. Yeah, it's called corpse throwing. Uh, <laughs> armor class 28. Yeah. All right, the corpse goes flying through the air, slamming into you. Um, it is going to do 18 points of damage. Does it take damage? because it, hit- uh, it takes the 18 points of damage, and then this is a weird corner case, but I'm also going to say it takes the Everflame damage. So go ahead and deal it 2d6. I mean, it's in me. Yeah, no, uh, clearly. I mean, you, so it, it, it hit you, but it hit you with its own body. Only five. Oh, cool. I borrowed them from Eric Campbell without his knowing. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> nicely back. borrowed dice. All right. So how much? Eight. Five. Five. Okay. So that zombie has taken twenty-three points of damage. Um, it uh, <laughs> and uh, it uh, uh, because it's just a plain old ordinary zombie. I'm going to mark it off the list here because now there's one less. Um, <laughs> and uh, it uh, it actually it actually dies. <laughs> Uh, it, it, it nearly tried to get up, but the Everflame cooked it, and it, it falls to the ground dead. The zombie brute then turns to the door and starts attacking it because it has reach. Ew. It's going to uh, uh, swing a rotten tree trunk at it. That is going to hit uh, by a lot, and so is the second hit. Mm. The door is going to take quite a beating on this. I'm going to go ahead and roll some damage. Oh, that was a brutal, brutal hit. Oh, man. Oh, no. um, Oh, and so was the second one. Oh, no. The door just buckled. Oh, no. It's not open, but it just hit that broken state where the door is now cracked in because it's battering away at this door. I rolled way too much damage for the door to take. Um, That is the undead's turn. Uh, Next up, Teriel. All right. Um, Is there a place... um, I have my scroll of sound burst out. Yeah. And I want to hit. I want to hit the target or hit the big guy and some little guys, but I don't want to hit. Yeah, you can uh, do that. You you won't be able great. to hit quite as many as if you were willing to hit omelet, which I know you're not willing to do. I'm so, uh, all right, uh, go ahead and. Uh, what's the range on that? Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to move. It's thirty feet. Thirty feet. All right, and you are currently sixty feet away, so you need to take yeah. uh, at least one move. Yeah, I'll move. I'll do one move. All right, and what's your speed? 25, do I have to do two? Okay, so if you move just one, what you can do is uh, be 35 feet away, which means you can center it slightly outside them, uh-huh. and you will you will hit like the Hulk and just like one zombie. If I, I can't use my spell reach on this, correct? Because it's a scroll? Uh, no, yeah, no, you can't. Okay, uh, that's fine. I'll hit the Hulk and a zombie. All right, uh, so you go <laughs> and throw the sound burst out at the Hulk and a zombie. Yes, and they uh, have to make a fortitude save. All right, to avoid being what, paralyzed? Uh, I think uh, they Stunned? are taking a 2d10 sonic damage. If they if it's a critical success, they are unaffected. If it is a oh. success, they take half damage. Yeah, yeah. If it is a failure, they are deafened. They take full da- damage and is deafened for one round. Um, if it's a critical failure, then they take double damage and is deafened f- and stunned for one All right. minute. Gotcha. All right. Uh, okay, here it comes. Uh, that is going to be a 20, which I think is a success against a... Uh, Oh, my, no, that's going to be a failure, so yeah, it takes damage. Yeah, my spell save DC is yeah. 22. Yeah, right, so it takes damage. So they are going to take 14 sonic damage. Oh, let me roll for the other zombie. Uh, it's going to... Uh, oh, that's very bad. The fortitude save, right? Yes. All right. Oh, they're actually pretty good at those. Okay. Uh, it's just going to fail, uh, but it does take the damage. Cool, they are both... Uh, well, I don't know if they really managed for the skeleton, but the Hulk is deafened for one round. It, it, yeah, no, it's deafened. So um, that will give it some penalties to certain checks, but they probably won't come into play. Um, all right. 
Uh, you you blast them with sound uh, that clearly looks like it hurt the Hulk. Uh, actually, sorry, yeah, you hit a skeleton with that. Yes. Oh, he he's destroyed. That destroys the skeleton. The damage kills him. It doesn't matter that he's he's deaf. He doesn't have ears. All right. Uh, I'm not sure he can hear anyway. Uh, that was Toriel. Iculus, it is yes. your turn to act. Yes. So um, 60 feet away, obviously, from the giant yeah. Hulk. Um, so that means I need to move. Yeah. Um, but first, before I move, I'd like to... S- I'd like to smite evil on him. Sure. Um, uh, you declare him as the target of your smite evil. That is one of your actions. Yes. And then um, the rain strike won't hit him, right? That's too far. The rain strike the, of? The, the um, short bow. Of the short bow? No, you can hit him with a short bow from here. Okay. Um, I'd like to do a short bow f- with uh, the magic arrow. The vine one? Vine one. Yeah. All right, sure. Uh, you, can, you can fire a vine arrow at him. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, go ahead and make your attack roll. Yeah, it's 18 plus 9, so it's a 28. That is a hit. Um, uh, so the vines burst out around him. Let me roll the save for that. Um, oh, well, I think he just got immobilized. <gasps> oh. That was terrible. That was a really bad roll. Uh, yeah, that's like, that's like a... Yeah, he's immobilized. Oh. That, that just means he can't move. Yeah. It, he still gets to he attack. He can town. still hit everything, but he, but he can't, can't walk into town. town. Yeah, Because that's the... Di- that's Seven with the... Um, it, that's just one d6. Is there anything else I need to do with the? Oh uh, yeah, you get plane? the extra disrupting d6, and uh, because you smite evil him, that's going to do an extra four points of damage. So uh, it's going to be two d6 plus four. Beautiful. Do it. Should everyone be setting aside a d6 for disrupting damage? Uh, yes. Way? However, I should note your daily preparation that gives you disrupting in your blade won't stack with that disruption. So you okay? Because they're the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, you already have that bonus. Yeah. You get it. You get it. You get it. So it's a six. Uh, plus that's a ten. Ten points of damage. All right. Uh, he takes 10 points of damage, and he is weak to positive, so he takes an additional 10 points of damage. Even with my, and I still have the, but that's So he, uh, that does a lot more damage to him than you thought. Yeah. Um, yeah, that does 20. Um, is disrupting damage, is, is that for all damage then? Or is that just for weapon attack damage? The disrupting I damage? I think it's just weapon. Okay. It's yeah. just I, it check. doesn't apply to spells, like, so yeah. Damage, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to double check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, that was one attack. I think you still might have one more. Well, I had, yeah, well, I well, had, you had to draw the bow. I had you? to draw the bow. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, all right. That, that'll be it then. Okay, uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's go to the top of the order. Liss, it is your turn. All right. Wait, I have... did you go? You're next. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was like, huh? Uh, li- yeah, li- I rolled a list 32. Went, list went right before you. Yes. All right. So I am going to uh, continue to do hunted shots at this guy. All right. Uh, this big old the Hulk. Hulk. <laughs> yes. Uh, but this time the, the with zombie Hulk. bright glowing arrows. My arrows are light. All right. Natural 20. Yeah. Oh! That'll be a 35. They were holding on to them for this one. Oh, <laughs> man. I hope so. And he's still immobilized, right? Uh yes, that will that will that will hurt him a bit. How much did you get? Did you say thirty five? That's 35. definitely a crit. Well, I mean, I it would have been a crit anyway. It was, so. yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, all right. All right, so I get the first. I get these. Oh, that's seven. Then I get this. Oh, that's uh eleven. Then I get this. Oh. Wait, does this disrupting also get that's doubled? Positive. Oh. Uh, it yeah, it does. All right, that's uh fifteen. So that's thirty. And the deadly doesn't. And then three. So uh, it's 30 33. plus 10 for the weakness. That's 40 doubled to 80 plus three. So you just wait, wait, wait. I double. I doubled this die already. Oh, you doubled all those dice already. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's all right. 30 plus three. So, so, so 43. So 43 damage total. All right. Um, I was like, wow, that's incredibly good dice rolling. All right, yeah. Uh, all right, I've ever done. Uh, good. All right yeah, still, it's really 43 good. damage in one arrow. Yeah, slams into him and he bursts into flame. White light <gasps> shatters off of him, um, but he's still standing. That's okay, I have another okay. shot on this. All right, bring it. Okay, okay, that is a uh, 26. A 26 will hit. All right, that is. Oh. Don't forget the extra D6. Don't worry, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That would be 18 damage. 
I rolled max damage on my dice. Nice. That's going to get another bonus of 10 against the Hulk because he's weak to positive. So that's going to do another 28. And let's just do shot number three (laughs) and four. (laughs) Just just for fun. Uh, That's a natural one for that one. All right. Yeah, that one goes that one goes winging off. Oh, but that is a uh, 17 plus five uh, is 22. 22, that's with all the the negative 10 penalty? Yes. All right, hit. (laughs) Get back in there. Doesn't it feel good? It's great. Uh, That is going to be uh, nine damage. Nine damage. This thing is taking a beating. Plus another 10, 125, 135. All right. Um, yeah, you I are. I finally feel powerful. <laughs> your, your, your arrows are sinking into its undead flesh. Every time they hit, the white everflame bursts out of it. The, the dead flesh crumbles to ash wherever the everflame touches it. Oh, that was Lissa's turn. This is great. <laughs> Linnaeus. Kill it. It's finally time <laughs> for me to run into battle and do some damage with a sword. All right. I'm running in. How many actions do I need to take to get in? Uh, you took one to move closer last round, yeah. so uh, and your speed is 25? 25. 25. All right, you're going to need to spend another two to get up there. Okay, that's Because you were fine. 60 away, so you're, you're, still, you're still 40. Yeah. yeah 35 away. I'm going to stop dead in front of one. And <laughs> uh, in front of what? The Hulk? No, one of the smaller ones. Oh, one of the smaller They're ones. almost going to kill it. I mean, it's very close. Oh. It's very close. Oh, all right. I'm soon. Okay. Yeah, no, I yeah. You. Yeah, okay. I have faith in my friends. Um, all right, so you go running up to a skeleton. Yeah. It's only 19. That hits. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's a skeleton. Okay, yeah. so it's <laughs> this and this and this. <laughs> yeah, best to just keep those dice clustered together for the rest of the evening. You're going to be using them a lot. 16 All right. points. Uh, 19 points. Uh, that skeleton crumbles to dust. Oh, yes. Yeah. Hello. Uh, so uh, that was all three of Linnaeus's action. She walks up with a blade. The Everflame slashes out, slams into a skeleton, and it literally just crumbles to ash as your blade passes through it. Omelette, yeah, it is I'm your... so weak! <laughs> My mom is quite proud! I'm proud of you! <laughs> Omelette, it is your turn. Yes. What would you like to do? Okay. What's happening? How many you, are left? What's you, going on now? There, there are there are four zombies left, three skeletons, a ghoul, and a hulk. Where's the hulk in comparison to me? The hulk is about ten feet away from you. They're all clustered around this back door. Okay. Um, they're they're all trying to beat it in. Um, it's it's quite the mess. Okay. I know I moved closer to those things, but I feel like but he's immobilized, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. For a yeah, long but time? he can he can hit you from where he's at. He right definitely now. can hit me, but he can't yeah. go in the town. That's what I'm worried about. Uh, he yeah. So he's immobilized by a bunch of oh, vines. But he can hit. But but those no. you're wagering no, those can be snapped. I'm going to him. Yeah. I'm going to him. Yeah. I'm going to him. He he. I'm going to him. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. That's gonna take. All right, you go running up to him. He does not have attack of opportunity, so you can move up without a problem. Oh, here comes the hero <laughs> boy. Oh boy. Are you? I think. Bloody she- me. I think she deserved a hero point for that last <sighs> slashing. Unfortunately. All right. Well, that's a waste <laughs> of two. I moved and swung. Second so, attack. I'm assuming the second attack was a very low a roll. Two. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. So I don't think uh, you don't have to add that up. 17 will hit him. No, it won't. <sighs> you bloody useless. Uh, I won't look. 16. No. Yeah, after your, your previous amazing rounds where you just mowed through the dead, you walk up to the, the zombie hulk, you slash My uncle out, got cocky. You slash out with your axe, but do it's not manage to connect with it. a little out of breath. <laughs> it goes. Uh-oh. And so do the rest of the dead, for that matter. Um, let's go around. Uh, Linnaeus, you get attacked by a zombie that staggers up to you. 
Uh, and it is going to hit with a 29. Oh, yeah. Um, go ahead and take, where's that damage? There it is. Mm -hmm. uh, take nine points of damage. Okay. Uh, next up, uh, it had to move oh, before but, it could attack you. But. Oh, yeah, deal 2d6 to it. Ten. Ten? Yeah. All right, uh, that burns a bunch of its flesh, but it is still standing. Uh, next up, a uh, skeleton is going to march uh, up to... Actually, you know what? I just realized something. What? Didn't I have a zombie who was grabbing you? I think you I did. did. Yeah, oh, I think no. I did. I forgot about that fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, well, you you missed so much. I'm assuming one of those attacks was just to break free. All right, we we won't go back and retcon it. It's fine. Um, they're not that hard it's to break. Why you missed? I was like, yeah. let go. Yeah. And, and yeah. go. Zombies don't attack of opportunity. No, anyway. no, no. They most certainly don't. All right. Uh, and however, that zombie will come up, and just because of the orientation of how that all worked, it is now flanking you. Okay. Um, and it is going to roll an attack. Uh, but I think that's probably going to miss. Um, a, no, that's not going to hit. Does uh, it only take this if it hits? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah no, they don't take damage if they miss. Um, all right, and uh, let's see, we're going to have a skeleton attack uh, Linnaeus as well. Uh, that is going to be a 22, which I don't think hits you anymore. It just does. It I just does. Shield up. All right. Uh, on that one, you take six points of damage. Uh, it's then going to swipe out with a claw. That's going to miss. You can deal 2d6 damage to it. Um, which will almost undoubtedly destroy it. Eight. Yeah, it only has five hit points, so it gets destroyed. Bye. All right. Uh, okay. So uh, that is it for that skeleton. Those guys die really easy. Um, <laughs> resistances don't help you when you take damage every time you hit. <laughs> All right. So uh, last but not least, we have the zombie Hulk. Uh, it is going to take its first swipe down at Omelet. Yes. Mm. May the blessings of Saren Ray be up on you. It hurts itself by touching me. Armor class 33. Ooh. Uh, Is that a crit? Ooh. Does it take double damage? No, it does not take double damage. Dang it, it will 23 take, is my AC. Uh, oh, no. uh, you will take double damage. It will take the standard 2d6. Um, at least you have a... Here we come. I'm okay with that. Yeah. It slams down into you, almost knocking you completely off your feet. For a moment there, you're <gasps> lifted up. Take 36 points of damage as it slams into you with a rotten log. Um, it takes 11 damage back. It will take 11. It actually takes 21. 21 damage because back. Because of its vulnerability. Roaring out in pain from just the act of hitting you, it instead returns its attention to the door. At least it's not going to try again. And yeah. it swings on the door, and that is going to hit. And it deals another buttload of damage. Yeah. And with its third attack, it's going to hit as well. And the south door has crumbled. The door is now laying in shattered ruins. The moment that happens, some of the undead that were right near it begin to move in. Mm -hmm. When the door shatters, on the other side, standing there waiting, you see a small group of guards, in the front of which you see Colvin. And he is standing there holding a wooden post that ends in a banner. But it, it, it's, not, it's not quite a, 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 a banner because it's not made of cloth. He carved the banner out oh. of wood, oh and in the flickering light of the ever flame, you can see all five of you standing in front of the city. And he is holding that aloft. He is wearing armor, and he has a you. and he has a wooden staff in his hand. And they are waiting for the dead. And I, here we I, are on the other side I, of it. Oh, I know oh my this, god! This is just for flavor. But but Liz immediately reaches back and grasps Anla's staff and says, "You'll be joining your father soon." Oh yeah. Next up. Oh, oh my God, that's so cool. Tariel. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Inspire courage. <laughs> Tariel's just crying after seeing that and playing her where, violin. Where Where's the paper? Oh yeah. Let's bring this guy out. 
Yep. Inspire courage. Just a reminder. And then um, for uh, second action, take out the sling. Third action, attack the giant with the sling. All right. Your sling stone goes flying through the air. Nice, good, good. Mm. Um, uh, does a 25 hit? A 25 does hit. Yes. Awesome. And you have, is that, okay, yes. cool, cool, cool. And it's going to take uh, four points of damage. <gasps> I have four hit points. Oh my yeah! god! I'm literally no, not joking. Hosted. I have four You're hit points left. I just now, freaking now, the, now the positive actually made it 14. That's yeah. so, yeah. But but I literally had four hit points left. Wow. Wow. All right. Oh, the the so giant so Hulk. Village. The the rock slams into the the Hulk's head, and uh, the zombie's head crumbles to ash, and it just stumbles around and falls over into the undead. <gasps> And Ooh, I'm gonna have that take out a skeleton. Yeah, yeah. Because it's way too big and it's falling corpse deals way too much damage uh, to a skeleton and it's going to uh, eh, hurt a zombie. Um, so there are a couple zombies left. There's only one skeleton left and there is a ghoul that is trying to snake its way inside. It's claws out, hissing and snarling as it goes. It may in fact be aghast. It's hard to tell in this darkness. All right, Tariel, that was you. Yeah, that was all, I'm done. Iculus. Um, okay. You're still a ways back. Yeah. You were firing uh, uh, your bow at it. Yeah, I'm moving, <laughs> so that's action number one. All right, uh, uh, that closes the distance from 60 to... Uh, what's well, I was speed? already moved up. Oh, did you move up one? Yeah, I moved oh, up all right. one. All right, so you were at, uh, what's your speed again, 20? 25. 25, okay. So I did move at... up one, right? Because it... No, I didn't. No, you, you I fired. Smite evil. Yeah, yeah, you right. smite evil and fired. Uh, drew your bow and fired. Okay, I'm so, going to have to move up too. Yeah, all right. Uh, you spend two actions moving up. That takes you from, uh, you are 80 feet away from the wall. Mm -hmm. Moving 50 feet now puts you 30 feet of the way from the wall and still 10 feet away from the nearest undead. And he's going to get the ram. <laughs> well, that would only be one action. So, I mean, it'll only do 2d6. <laughs> That's what you got. Okay, uh, you give me the ram. Uh, go ahead and roll the two d six. It's not an attack roll. So, um, are you throwing this at a, at the remaining skeleton or a zombie? The, the, whatever that ghoul is, is trying the ghoul, to get it. The ghoul is too far away. Oh, too far. Yeah, away. Okay. It's, it's in through the gate. The, the zombie. Zombie. All right. So it's a. Now, most of these zombies out here are pretty damaged. So four damage. And four damage. Uh, add the and I critically fail, it so I'll disrupting. take eight. Yeah. Um. Now this wouldn't apply. It's a magic effect. Oh, so right. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. So, yeah. But it will take eight points of damage and stumble and fall down dead because that was one of the ones that was already hurt. Oh. It's the one that was right behind you. Great. Um, <laughs> all right. The uh, ram-like force slams into it, and um, I, had I not critically failed, I wouldn't have died. All right. Um, but that took care of it. Uh, Liz, we're back to you. What's in range? Uh, where did you move to? I haven't moved at all. Oh, so you're still sick. You're still eighty feet away from the wall. Mm -hmm. Um, you can fire at anything, but you will be taking a minus two range penalty on your attacks. Right. I am going to move up at least one. If you move up one, you eliminate all the range penalties. All right, then I am going to use my second action. I think this requires another action to move my my hunt prey yeah. to like one of the. One of the zombies, sure. Like, because I think the the ghast or ghoul at this point is maybe too far. Or uh, it is yeah. okay. So I'm going to go ahead and mark one of the zombies, and I'm going to unload a hunted shot into it. All right. Uh, that is going to be a nineteen. Uh, nineteen against the zombie is going to hit. Okay. It's not a crit, but it does hit. Okay. 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 Uh, that is going to be five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. Uh, ten damage plus another ten is twenty. Uh, that one goes down. Cool. That's the fourth zombie down. There's two zombies left, one skeleton and a ghoul, and that's all that's at this gate. All right, then I will. Uh, I will unload my second of uh, the second of my hunted shots into the ghoul. Okay. Uh, do, both hundred, those, do both those hunted shots have to go at the same hunted it's target, possible, though? It's yeah. possible, and if that's the case, then I think I'm out of action. So yeah, I think I think I think you might we'll be out, unfortunately. That's um, fine. All right, uh, but you, you say you, I loaded extra. Damage. Yeah, you can fire another one into its body. Make sure it doesn't come back. That's <laughs> fine. Um, I'm not uh, coming back. Yeah. <laughs> and stay dead. I mean, really for real this time. No, seriously, I mean it. All right, uh, no that thanks. that is the end of that zombie. Yep, Linnaeus. Uh, what is within thirty feet of me? 
Uh, you went running right up to the yeah, gate, didn't I'm, you? Are, are they um, all like? Yeah, they're they're all pretty much right there. Yeah. I'm gonna pop a font, and we're gonna just, and you're gonna get some heat. Thank you. I know. I'm also in dire dire need. Oh oh. Seventeen. Okay. To you, seventeen to any guards who are in the way. Uh, there's one that get, that was injured that gets healed up. Uh, that kills the last remaining skeleton. Uh, of the two zombies, one of them goes down. The other one is still up, and the ghoul uh, is hurt by that, but is still alive. Okay, uh, that was Linnaeus. You unleash a blast of positive energy. It ripples through the undead. Uh, a number of them fall. There's a few still left. This gate is almost secure, but there are more undead slowly clustering in. And also three more gates. Omelet. How close is that ghoul? Uh, within one movement. I move. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you go running up to the ghoul. Uh, and inspire courage. <laughs> 22. Yes, that is totally a hit. Uh, go ahead. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> nice. The first one died easy, this one. 27. Yeah. Oh, okay, let me just. I'm and that's. Uh, that, um, that's positive and um, whatever the, Saren Ray blessing light. <laughs> the, the, the ghoul was running straight up toward. What? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Was sorry. What well, was Colvin? running straight towards Colvin, uh, but no but shoot. it does not make oh, it. Shit. Its body crumbles to the ground as you slam your axe into it, and uh, that was two of your actions. You still have one remaining. There's not an undead next to you. There's no um, zombie. No, no. There's there's only uh, as a matter of fact, there's only one zombie left, and it's I actually know. pretty badly hurt. Um, uh, yeah, you know what? It's uh, it's behind you. Sure. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. Cleave. yeah, go ahead and cleave. It's fine. Uh, no need to belabor the the poor one lone zombie. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be making a heroic last. Twenty eight. Twenty eight is a crit. Of course it is. Uh, and that that's it. That it's it, 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 it has it has <laughs> twenty <laughs> hit points. So I, I do this. I cleave yeah. the ghast in front of me, saying, "Don't you touch him." I can feel the zombie behind me because there's definitely an ancestor face in the other way. <laughs> and I just go <laughs> behind me. Nice. <laughs> I love it. Love that. All right. Um, you uh, suddenly are able to catch your breath for a brief moment. Uh, you are able to uh, gather yourselves back together and uh, approach Colvin. I hug Colvin. Colvin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Colvin and the guards are there. Too. And they were ready to fight. And then you ran up and just murdered everything. Uh, uh, Murder it, hug. Some of, some, of the, some, of those, some of those zombies at least had arrows and stuff in them, right? They had done yeah. some damage yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know. Oh, you, sure they held them off valiantly. You weren't the only ones. Who's next? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Colvin, I found the sword. You, you, you go running up, and <gasps> Colvin looks, and uh, you see kind of uh, a light and happiness in his face, and he's like, he looks at you and he says, "You couldn't arrived at, uh, had arrived at a better time. The, the city's under siege. Uh, the, the north gate has completely fallen and buckled again. We couldn't it's reinforce it enough. Point um, me, Adam. The north side of the city is is maybe lost. Uh, the the western gate seems to be holding. Uh, I don't know what news of the east gate." <sighs> He 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 looks flustered. There's kind of some smoke on his on his on his chin. Uh, early on, there were a few blasts of flame that went off in the city. We don't know what caused them. It's it's been it's been a catastrophe trying to contain the the, the fires, but we managed to put them out. Uh, Done well. Doing amazing work. Point uh, us where we needed most. We'll be there. He, he's like, I I I I I made this. I made this for you. It's amazing. It wasn't a long pony. I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, no. I, I, I thought, you know, after after I heard where you were going and and what you were doing, that you needed you needed a a banner. A a, a regiment of knights needs a needs a banner. And well, I'm 
I'm not much of one with cloth. You're, <laughs> says, you're the best we have. Uh, so, so you have this like huh. wooden banner. It almost looks like the sign you would hang outside a tavern, but it's on a pole. Oh, <laughs> and, uh, it and, brings uh, me more honor than I've ever felt in my life. It's beautiful. beautiful. And he says, I, I, I wouldn't want to, I know you have a lot of fighting to do, so I wouldn't want to burden it with, burden you with it, but I'll, I'll follow behind and, and be your, your banner bearer. Oh, um, stay safe. You can just plunk it in your can trip light it. And, uh... Like what? Light it up. <gasps> Cantrip light. And that'll be your only light. I mean, other than the fact that you're all glowing. Although, yeah. although in a few moments, that fades away. Mm -hmm. And if you want to be able to use the Everflame again, you're going to have to wait ten minutes. Yeah, I know. Um, How long does it go away? Uh, you won't be able... It lasts for just one minute. So you won't be able to regain it mm -hmm. unless you are able to spend ten minutes... Mm. Uh, yeah, uh, kind of in in mm. it would probably in actually peaceful be a good idea to check in on the church. Really, yes. yeah. How, how far away from are we right. from the temple? So okay. one thing though, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you weave your magic and cast your light up upon the banner. Mm -hmm. Soon the wood begins to emit a radiance. It's it's like a warmth coming out of the wood, uh, and as it does so, there's a detail that you didn't quite notice. Uh, emblazoned across the top, there there is an image of the of the five of you. Uh, 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 standing proud side by side, it's a pretty good likeness. He only he only had a few days to make it, so it's not it's not it's not perfect. It looks like he could still use a little bit more work, but it's very close. It's a it's a very faithful representation. And across the top, written uh, is is the name of your company, or at least what Colvin thought it should be. Oh, and it says the Knights of Everflynn. <laughs> Again, <laughs> the chills. <laughs> Is just gonna throw her arms around Colvin's <laughs> neck and just sob. He's just he's like tear. he's like we have we have fighting to do, but I but I appreciate Murder it. Hog, it's worth it. He's, <laughs> he's he's trying to wipe the two. He's like, but we we have a city to save. We can we can we Where's can go? we can shed tears later. There's damned to be enough reasons to to shed many this night. Revel in every moment of hope we can get. To he the, he nods. to the to the church to the church. All right. The group of you go racing uh, north. If you remember the map of the town uh, from the gate, uh, you can head directly north to reach, mm -hmm. yeah. reach the temple. The barricades are still there. They never even bothered to take them down after That's they heard great. what was going on. Um, and uh, you quickly make your way there. There is a burnt out home on the side of the of, of the road that looks like one of the places where a blast of flame originated that uh, uh, caused so much damage and distraction before the attack hit. Um, and soon you're, you're making your way there. Can we I'm see the tower from here? Uh, the what? The tower. The tower. Holgast's tower. Oh, Holgast tower. Yeah, it's still there. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Still standing. Uh, so you can see Holgast tower kind of, there There are still apparently a few small fires in the town and uh, their light is kind of illuminating some of the taller buildings. There might also be some torches and patrols. <laughs> you can hear shouting coming from various districts. Um, and as you make your way to the center, there are uh, a number of guards there holding uh, the temple, and they, they kind of are like, ah, as you approach, as you come running up out of the, the gloom because you no longer have the Everflame uh, uh, radiating from all of you. Sorry, um, I know I'm creepy, but it's just us. <laughs> oh, I took my mask off. It's just sorry, sorry, I know I'm creepy. <laughs> They're guy. like, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Picture him with a mask. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I'm sort of leaning. Yeah. Remember? Uh, I, I'm holding onto your arm because I'm now quite exhausted. Mm -hmm. Out, okay. out. Out at the I'm front okay, gate. I'm just, uh, Stay with me. Tired. Stay with me. I got you. Okay. Out at the front gate, you see Father Prast. You see uh, Private Unkir now of the of the Cassin militia. You see. Uh, you even see Sir Sir Falmer uh, standing there with his <laughs> with his mail, shaking, holding his sword, just like what a sweet pointing Aww. out into the darkness. Sweet uh, and uh, and uh, you see them there, and as you approach. Uh, uh, you also notice that uh, uh, inside the door of the temple, the doors of which are open, you can see Jonark is there. Aww. Um, so you can clearly make out Jonark, uh, and he is uh, he is there uh, looking out for all of you. Uh, you can see, um, yeah, and behind them are a, a bunch of uh, refugees and and town folk that are are not really uh, combatants. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, he looks at you and throws up his arms, and and uh, in so he drops the hat that he's probably been worrying over, uh, and he's like, oh, 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 you're, oh, oh. What the sword? Praise Arastal, you're back, you, ah! you found it. 
Um, and and uh, as you raise up the sword, a cheer goes up <gasps> from all of from all of the all of the guards. And uh, Private Unkir looks at all of you and and kind of nods and 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 kind of does the like, hey. like. <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, what would you like to do? Uh, I want to actually give you as much time as you can. So I am probably going to remain out here because right now I'm still okay mm -hmm. uh, and figure out the best way to mobilize uh, from here. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm going to drink a health potion. But I want to give you time to concentrate. Okay. Yeah. I'm full health, so I'd like to hold down the, yeah. you know. Okay. I'll join Liz. All right. Yeah, We're probably, I'm probably not going to le go too far, but yeah. probably yeah. start heading, Stay close. Uh, uh, getting as much information about what is happening at each of the gates as I can get. Sure. Um, uh, I'll, I'll come back to you. Yeah. And you said you were going to hold on the fort here. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else want to do anything? I mean, you have to You have to spend 10 minutes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. So uh, I'm going to leave the door open. If you need me, just shout mm -hmm. any kind of code word. I'll be there. Um, I'm going to go sit by the, the, the shrine of Serenry and, sure. and just pray. All right. Uh, you can certainly do that. Um, you go to the shrine of Shellen and begin praying. Serenry. Serenry. Sorry. Saren, right? I got this. Uh, yeah, no, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Tariel, what are you doing? Um, I'll go outside with. Yeah, with I'm not Liz. going too far. Yeah. I'm probably about going maybe like if, if we had the village of the map, it would, uh, map of the village, it'd be easier to say maybe ten feet in towards the west. Well, yeah, you you got to kind of you kind of got to you kind of have to go like a, at least like a quarter of a block to yeah, kind yeah, of get yeah, a look. Get a look. Um, it's still within line of sight of everyone. Look, but least. basically, yeah, yeah, trying not to go too far away, but. What, I want to be able to warn them if I see anything coming mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in case we don't get the 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I also want to, to determine that, yeah. I'll go with you. Okay, cool. Just in case. Great. That's perfect. And then if mm -hmm. I'm guarding I'll, the temple, then you, you guys can mm -hmm. yell to me and then I can always... Oh, we don't You're taking, need to yell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> perfect. You're taking the, the west direction? Sure. I'll take the west, or you said west? I'll take east and drink my potion. All right. All right. So, uh... Uh, Liss, you go off to the west to get a sense of the of the west. Of the west. <laughs> uh, and uh, and uh, your mirror image. Yeah, Tariel comes with you, and you you make your way uh, a little bit down that way, and you see the west gate is still attacked. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't do potion. Um, there is clearly fighting going on okay. there, but you can see her cloak flapping in the wind, Arnama <gasps> atop the guard tower, and you just see her methodically pulling arrow after arrow out of her quiver, so unleashing them out mm -hmm. into the gate. She's just kind of doing that. The legless. Popping, yeah. Yeah, she's awesome. just popping off arrows <laughs> I know what constantly. She's got. How far away are we from the, from the gate? Quite a ways, oh. like several, like a few hundred feet. Never mind. Um, and the only way you can really see it is because the inside of the gate has has some torches mounted mm -hmm. on the inside so that the, the defenders can see. Um, there is some light from outside the gate. You even notice this as you approach. Um, they put some uh, uh, braziers out outside with like burning coals in them. Uh, that way, uh, as you approached, you could actually see the area around the gate without yes. having to rely on magic light or anything That's like that. That's awesome. Those Very smart. Did they, they do the learned... holy water burning thing? Uh, you haven't seen anything like that, uh, but you're, you're honestly kind of not sure of all the things they managed yeah, to do. Exactly. Might have already um, used it already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so... That's what you see out at the west gate. Uh, however, your vantage point does kind of give you a look to the north. Uh, it's clear that they've, they've kind of fortified the embankment with where the bridge was. There is fighting going on there because it looks like the north side of the town has completely it's fallen. Yeah. Um, everything that is over there has been overrun. The guards are fighting the dead that are trying to cross through the muck and get up into the town. But thus far, it looks like at least in that area, because that's the area they came through, they haven't quite yet been successful. Although deep in the shadows and the flame, you can see there's definitely another zombie hulk up there throwing stuff over the water at the defenders. Right. Um, that's what you see that way. Oh, uh, who went? To send a message really quick to. Uh, I went to the east gate. Who went to the east gate? Me. Uh, that that would be that would be omelet. Omelet. You go over toward uh, the uh, east gate. Yeah. And uh, it appears to be quiet there. Okay. Um, the, there are guards there. They are defending themselves. Every once in a while, you might see one fire an arrow down at something, but it, it doesn't seem frantic. So if there are any undead over on that side, it doesn't seem like it's like it's okay. too serious. Not very violent over on my side. <laughs> so far. 
By the way, the guards you left at the south gate immediately began piling up rubble and debris to just make a choke point, at least. So proud mm-hmm. of them. Yes, they was really... Was so mm-hmm. they well, they, they learned a lot of tactics <laughs> from all of you. Um, so um, you uh, are all able to kind of go out and scout uh, about, and then you come back uh, to the church. Um, that whole reconnaissance mission for, for both of you took... A few minutes. Yeah. Um, so uh, when it's all said and done, it's been about uh, uh, four or five minutes. Okay. Um, In the meantime, I think I want to gather up as much information about what has been going on since we since we left, like how prepares went, mm. if there were any if there was any uh, big developments in the town while we were away. Sure. Um, I ask about uh, Mayor uh, Ventner. Uh, I'm really curious as to what he's been up to. Sure. We'll we'll get right back to that. Yep. Uh, you stayed at the at the temple, right? Right. Uh, uh, so Iculus, you're you're at the temple. You get kind of behind the barricade to be with the other mm-hmm. defenders, and uh, and everybody's back there, and they kind of all pat you on the shoulder, and and uh, a lot of them kind of give little wry comments like, "Hey, looking good," <laughs> you know, and uh, and and things of that nature because they they've, they've never seen your face before. Yes. They recognize you uh, from your armor, but they they do not know what you look yeah. like. And uh, Father Prast. <laughs> Uh, makes his way up to you, mm-hmm. and uh, when he sees you, he was he's he's been inside, uh, but but at, at the door front, and uh, uh, he makes his way to you and kind of claps you on the shoulder, and he says, "I'm happy to see you. It's good to be back. Mm. Mm. In one piece." <laughs> he, he looks at out at the town. <laughs> well, <laughs> for now. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. true. That's true. He I, says, uh, things have not been going uh, very well. Um, uh, there have been uh, some casualties already. There were some attacks early on. Uh, most of them were, were light, and they seemed almost to be testing our defenses to see where we were weak. Um, they would send small groups of undead. It's very peculiar. It, it seems that there is uh, some sort of cruel intelligence behind them. Hmm. Uh, these, are, these are mindless things, but they are attacking us, probing us. And now it seems like they are coming in full force. I heard the North Gate has fallen. Uh, from what we've heard, there were some guards that made their way back here with pretty bad wounds. One of them, uh, uh, I'm afraid he probably won't make it. His back is shattered. Um, he was carried here by the others, and I'm, uh, I'm afraid I'm about to go give him last rites. He looks at you and he says, find me after the battle. Okay. I have news. <gasps> but not now. Find me after the battle. I most certainly will. Thank and you. and he heads back inside. Um, so the rest of you are able to gather uh, back together. Um, you begin to inquire. Speeding. You begin to inquire <laughs> around, and um, as it turns out, you quickly come to learn that Mayor Ventner is gone. Oh, classic. That's fine. He just fine. left. Of course he did. <laughs> At least he can't be reelected. Um. Well. As it turns out, he tried to leave on a wagon filled with valuables and stuff <gasps> and uh, uh, unloading his, his house and get out of here. Coward. Uh, but Captain Rennet Coward. actually stopped him, tore him off of his horse, oh. tore him off of his wagon, and kicked him out of town on foot <gasps> with a simple pack filled with supplies and his few servants, including his, like, uh, uh-huh. Scrivener, uh, who His secretary, who oh, like a took Gemini. apparently, according to the tale, took furious notes of everyone who was so <laughs> rude to dispose the mayor of his Absolutely. of his belongings. Oh, um, at the mercy of oh, the Oh dear! <laughs> wow. Unfortunately, they're probably now part of the undead. I say a prayer. Know. Hopefully, they're somewhere wherever Loki is, and we might meet them tonight. Oh, mm-hmm. together. I hope so. The the town. Uh, continues to weather the storm. It uh, by the time you made it there, and now after giving it some time, and you do now have the ever flame back. It is it is flared back to life. Um, uh, it, it is now probably creeping up toward midnight. Uh, okay. You didn't get here till almost eleven, and after the fighting and all the talking and making your way, it's it's been almost an hour. Okay. Um, there is still intense fighting going on in the north side of town, but it sounds like the guards are at least kind of keeping it under control. Um, but as midnight approaches, the miasma returns. Yep. Oh, mm. Here we go. Fog, it seems to me as though he's probably more powerful around this time of the night. Yeah. The <laughs> fog begins to roll into the town and defenders everywhere start coughing and hacking. 
um, within minutes of that occurring, swarms of these bats begin to swarm around mm -hmm. again. Now, you are all right at the temple right now, so you're mm -hmm. unaffected by this. Mm -hmm. uh, the miasma doesn't get to you. The bats kind of stay away from this. It seems like the temple itself is, is sanctified ground. Uh, but there are defenders that, uh, in other places that sound like they suffer mightily from it. You can hear hacking and coughing all over the city now. In which, From which direction again did we see the, uh, the shadowy figure last time? It's to the east. east. Where Anama is. Or no. That's on where you were. That's the where I was. The reason mm -hmm. I'm... Um, okay. I'm just going to hold on to that for a second. So. Mm. Is there a Torog sh uh, shrine here? Uh, there is a small shrine to Torog. Torog is a god of crafting and making. Uh, he's, he's, for us. Uh, he is also a deity of protection. There is a small shrine to Torog here. I do. I was forged in the embers of his creation. As all dwarfs were. <laughs> so, uh, so, would I'm, you like... I just I placed a stone there. Oh. Because we're about to go and... <sighs> Let's go. You raging? Okay, let's get everyone together and I can, oh yeah. Oh, wow. I can tell now, okay. So, let's go. Um, <laughs> to the west. So, uh, you can hear on the north side, uh, things suddenly take a bad turn for the worse. You hear some screams, some shouts, and within a few moments, a, a guard comes stumbling out of the fog and it looks like one of his arms been taken off. Uh -huh. Like like maybe one of the giants got a hold of him and just pulled oh, him asunder. Oh my and he comes stumbling out and collapsing to the ground. Oh, come to the temple. Uh, he's a, a bit of a ways away. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, not far. You could you could go you could go rescue him if you, I if, want you to, if you yeah. want to try. I, I'll come run out and grab him. All right. Um, you you go running out to grab him. Uh, um, you you I, go. I, I'm going with what I'm staying out there. All right. Um, oh, so, so you're, I'm you're staying like on the edge where the miasma isn't it? Yeah, no, I'm raged now, can, so I'm waiting can, for a target. Remember, it goes temple, a small area for defenders. Yeah. Right. Then there's a barricade. Right. Then there's the open square. Yeah. Right. Is that um, where the injured person is right now? That open yeah, the square? the person's out in the open square. Um, and the open square is partially free of of fog, but the far side where he's stumbling out of is not. Okay. So you go running over into it. This makes you sickened. Oh. Um, you're able to go grab him though and and bring him back. Pull him. Okay. Um, him yeah, I, I would make you make so a athletics checks, but both of you are there, so it's not really a problem. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna um, retch right after. So. Yeah, so so you get back into back into the the <laughs> circle and, and begin <laughs> retching. <laughs> and I want to end this and I think that thing is hiding to the east. Funny you should mention it, because as you turn and look to the east, you see something rather disturbing. Swirling out of this miasma, this greenish fog, there's something darker. There's a blackness welling up out of the fog, a swirling, living within it, almost as if it is an evil, malicious thing. And as it advances, uh, you begin to hear muffled cries that are rapidly cut out. You hear, <laughs> um, and, and these cries echo to your ears. And marching out of that darkness, you see four last wall soldiers, their armor rent and torn. They look like some sort of grim honor guard and they are wearing shrouds, their burial shrouds. They were risen from their graves and brought here. They are marching into the square. We're still on the north side. You can hear cries and screams and the guttural roar of one of these zombie giants as it begins to make its way further in town. And that is the point where I'm going to need you all to roll initiative as these four, we're going to call them honor guard, make their way into the town. Gosh, come on. Oh, boo. Me, me too. Butts. Do you on this? Oh yeah, everybody gets scouts warning, always. You did say to look to the east. So let me go around and find out everyone's initiative. Uh, Iculus, what do you got? 20. Tariel, what do you got? 16. Ooh. Mm. Omelet, yeah. what do you got? Yeah, no. 19. Ooh. Oh, brutal. <clears throat> Linnaeus. 29. Okay, better, better. Liz. Also at 20. Also a 20. Same as... Iculus. Iculus. Which one of you would like to go first? Uh, I'll let it Iculus I'll go, go first. first. All right. The okay. will go first. So, 
we're going to go ahead. Show death your face, then kill it. That's all right. All right. We are going to uh, start uh, with <laughs> Linnaeus. You are first. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drop the shield on the ground. Okay. Pull out my wand. Okay. And cast Bane. All right. Bane. Uh, you uh, cast Bane, so you are now surrounded by an aura of Bane. Yeah. Uh, that radiates out from you. I'm assuming you, you aren't doing that right next to one of the guards or your friends or anything, right? Well, it doesn't affect your allies, though, so yeah. mind, that doesn't matter. Yeah, I was um, going to say, what? Well, no, <laughs> God, no. I cast Bane on all my friends. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Betrayal. <laughs> Thanks for the curse, card. Curse you <laughs> for your inevitable portrayal. All right. Um, Did we get lighted before? Not yet. No, not yet. it has okay. not happened yet. Oh, 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 I forgot about that. Then, uh... You have taken your turn. It has oh, not happened no! yet. No! Moving on. No! The honor guard goes. They march up in unison. <clears throat> they shuffle straight up to you. They move with a slow gait. They're not moving quickly. And they started this, like... Uh, about forty feet away from you, so they don't they don't they don't make it very far. They have to spend two of their actions just marching up to you. Now the group of you was just right outside the barricade, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if I, I, I was, I, still I was in the church, we yeah. ran out, and then and we I stayed on the edge. Sure, and 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 that kind of happened. Uh, uh, yeah. you you gathered back together to yeah. talk about what to do next. I'm on the outside of the barricade. Okay, all right. So you're inside the barricade. I just want to make sure I know where everyone is. There's a bunch of, of guards and and uh, and a couple of the NPCs on that side of the barricade as well. I would have made sure they were all within range of the when I popped the swords. Okay, ability. so they 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 kind of weren't at the start of the fight anyway. So it's good you weren't you weren't ready to do that. Okay. Uh, because not everyone was in position. It's not like you knew exactly when this yeah. was going to happen. Fair. So uh, I, I I think. Uh, you were outside, maybe? I was outside of the temple, but that is about it. I okay, so everybody's on the inside of the barricade? I think so. Then? All right. Um, so uh, the, the honor guard comes uh, moving up, and as they approach the front of the temple, you can feel waves of fear coming off them. It is palpable, like dread. As it as it reaches into your soul, uh, uh, they march up to the front of this. That's all they do this round, because they don't even bother attacking. They just get close. Uh, they're about 10 feet away from the barrier. So they're, they're And they're not next to each other either, but they're just standing there. And as they get close, the fear radiates off of them, and I need all of you to give me will saves. Don't you have an aura? Or a courage. Fear? That gives a bonus to those who are who are next to you. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it up to your discretion. I, I was inside the barricade, but would I have been able to go back to the temple, or? You're all on the inside of the barricade. Yeah, we're all yeah. where you're at. But within range of his aura. Uh, his aura only goes ten feet. There are guards and other okay. uh, other folks near That's him. Great. They'll benefit, and they are pretty good at will save. So um, uh, we'll see. Mm. We'll see. What do you What do you have? Twenty. A twenty. Yeah. Okay. Also twenty. Also twenty. Twenty number three. Oh, that's three twenties <gasps> in a row. Um, not a twenty. Oh. Um, seventeen plus whatever my aura of courage. Well, and is did you add your will save bonus? Oh yeah. What is your aura of courage going oh. to give? Oh yeah. Remember, that's a will save. No, that's that's so, that's. Oh, that is seventeen yeah. plus the aura of courage. The aura of courage uh, reduces uh, frightened effects that hit you automatically. It doesn't. Oh, okay. It doesn't help on the save itself. It just oh, gotcha. reduces them. Okay. So you automatically take less. Twenty eight. Twenty eight. Not afraid. So here's what happens. Oh God. Um. <clears throat> this affects almost every single guard and other NPC as well. They, uh, with like two exceptions of ordinary guard schleps, uh, you know, ordinary Cassin guards, uh, they all fail. Um, and everyone is paralyzed with fear. Everyone? Except Omelette. Oh my God. Omelette would have buckled, but centuries of strong legs are holding <laughs> her up. <laughs> Wow. Everyone freezes oh my for an entire round. <sighs> so I'm going to go and bounce all the way down to Omelette. Hi! Because now it's your turn. I'm swinging. All right. Is it right in front of me? No, they're like no. on the other side of the barrier and 10 feet beyond that. They're 15 feet away. 15 feet. Oh, there's one move. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, boy. Well, you have to get over the barrier first. I know. Because you all decided you were inside the barrier, so. 
okay, well, my my family's not going to be stupid. They want me to live. Yeah. So, so what do you do? Um, um, well, I, uh, I, I, I need that light. <clears throat> so I'm going to move to you for one. All right. Rage. Okay. Rage. For three. And activate my bracelet. Ah. I now have 50 <clears throat> movement. I, I, I think that's something you actually, I'm sorry, but I think that's actually something you want to do at the start of your turn because it only lasts for that turn. It lasts for a minute. Oh, does it last for yeah. a minute? Oh, well, look at you. The the student has become the master. Yeah, yeah no, awesome. <laughs> so the bracelet kicks off and your your speed's incredible now. Um, okay, so uh, that is the end of Omelette's turn. We flip back over to the top of the initiative and uh, right before uh, the, well, let me double check here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, way up there. Um, r uh, before the honor guard uh, goes again, uh, the black miasma, uh, the black fog that is broiling into the, uh, the town square arrives, and it starts swarming into the place. And uh, as it does so, it kind of washes over all of you, and I need everyone to make a fortitude save. Mm. Wow. Is this magic? I'm going to no, 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 no. spend my hero point, please. Okay. Roll that again. Wow. That's better. Is, is, is this magic? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's all kinds of magic. Kind of all right, so what do, what do folks have? We'll start yeah. over here. 23. 23. 28. 28. 22. 22. 26. 26. Oh, but I haven't rolled it. It doesn't matter. Um, what did you get? Uh, 16. 16. Yeah. All right. So, uh, on the upside, none of you critically failed. Okay. Three of the guards did, and they fall over dead. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, okay. They're dead. They, they, the, the miasma uh, consumes them, and they literally wither and fall over dead. <sighs> That's what happens to three of the guards. <coughs> uh, uh, Unkir oh, looks like uh, uh, she narrowly missed that fate. She is like clutching her chest and, and stumbling about. Um, uh, you're not sure if this got inside the temple. It seems to be penetrating whatever protection the temple has. Uh, it, it, that does not seem to be affecting this. Um, so some of the guards fall over dead. Um, the rest of the guards all look blanched ill and they are like stumbling about. They're out of it. They are, they are uh, at least for the time being, out of this fight. Those of you who got less than 25 are uh, drained one, which means you take a uh, status, you take a penalty of one on, uh, well, constitution-based checks. So this is gonna be future fortitude saves. You also lose hit points equal to your level. So each of you loses six hit points. Um, and uh, all of you who failed gained th gain the doomed condition. What? The doom condition has no outward effect, except for the fact that the point at which you die is no longer dying four, it's now dying three. Is it dying four for me because I'm die hard? Correct. <laughs> Wait, sorry? So when you when you fall unconscious and are yeah, dying, you gain the dying condition and you start slipping further into yeah, death. Yeah, yeah. Normally you don't die until you reach dying four. The doomed condition- Start at dying three? The doomed condition raises the floor at which you die. So instead of dying at dying four, you now die at dying three. Oof. So that's for I, everyone who failed. Is, you avoid this fate. You oh. alone. Wait, you said oh, below? Below 25. Oh, so how's the 26? Oh yeah, you're fine too. Okay. You, don't, you don't have this. Okay. Oh, man. So, oh, so no. it's, it's the, wow. the three of them oh, my now goodness. have the doomed condition. Uh, <clears throat> so, the ones that critically failed went straight to, to Doomed 4, which killed them. <gasps> um, How do we get rid of Doomed? You don't even know. Um, it's not something you're gonna do right at the moment. There's no spell to get rid of it. Okay. All right. Um, so, uh, if I lessen <clears throat> uh, um, something, if so, oh, I have no. restoration. If I uh, lessen something that's at a one, does it? Uh, this will not affect this. 
there, there is almost nothing that affects the doomed condition. Trust me, it's clear. Okay, uh, it is meant to be the the capstone bad condition. You do not want the doomed condition. If the doomed condition ever equals your total amount that you can go and dying, you automatically die. No save. You just fall over dead. All right. So uh, that was that action. Um, can all of you also give me a perception check? Oh man. This is the worst. I'm suddenly feeling very scared. Very, very scary. Grave. Oh, no. Ugh. Why are you being like this? What do you got? 16. Nope. 21. Nope. 21. Nope. 32. 29. It's this side of the table. The two of you see a dark form enter from the east side. Oh. The miasma, this black cloud seems to be swirling about it, but it looks like it's standing in the middle of it and you can't see it. It is currently, whatever that figure is, it's about 60 feet away. <laughs> but it, it's just at the edge of the town square off to the east. This dark figure uh, uh, is just cloaked in shadow and blackness. All right, next up, the mummies go. Uh, the burial guard charges forward, smashes uh, <clears throat> into the line, and begins assaulting uh, all of you. So there's four of these uh, uh, funeral guard. Uh, they move forward. Um, I'm going to the have. Barricade? Uh, yeah, they go right up to the barricade. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so uh, let's see. Ah, yes. Okay. Uh, one of them is going to go uh, charging up to. Um, who all do I have here? I have lots of people here. Uh, one goes charging up to Colvin. Uh, one goes charging up to Lys. One goes charging up to Iculus. And one goes charging up to an ordinary guard. Uh, they go up. They are heedless of the barricade. They drive themselves through it. I'm going to deal damage to them because of that. They just walk into it. They don't even appear to care. Um, so, I'm going to deal, oh, uh, we'll just deal that across the board. Keep life simple. Why make it complicated? Mm -hmm. uh, that is one action for them. For uh, their second action, I'm going to have them make some attacks. So, uh, the first one's going to take a swing at Colvin. Uh, that is going to hit. Um, he is holding your banner up high, and he takes a bunch of damage. Uh, oh, that's bad. Okay. Um, and then the second attack fortunately misses him. The next one is attacking Liss. Uh, here comes a fist. It is armor class 23. That's my AC. All right. Uh, that is a uh, only 11 points of damage. Okay. Please, sir, may I have another? <laughs> uh. <coughs> <laughs> I mean, can I'm you, gonna get it anyway. Can you give me a fortitude save? Sure. Come on. Is that a no. one? It's a two. Plus 11, it's only 13. 13? Mm -hmm. um, so it, uh, it hits you pretty hard, um, and where it hits you, your flesh begins to blacken. <gasps> um, the uh, next one is attacking Iculus. Uh, that's going to miss, that was a terrible roll. Uh, and the second one is only a plus 11, 23, I don't think it's gonna hit you. Nope. No, it tries to beat on you, but it, it can't manage to get through your defenses. And the last one goes up to a guard and crits him and basically probably puts an end to him. Let me double check, 8, 15, 30. Yeah, it crushes his skull, he's dead. Um, I that no guard, longer feel that, as prepared. Yeah. That guard did not make <clears throat> it. Okay. That's the burial guard. Iculus, it's your turn. Uh, no longer paralyzed. Correct. As of this moment, everyone who is paralyzed loses their paralysis and okay. can now all act. Well, um, <clears throat> so the one that is closest to me, yeah. the mummy, taking his ass out. All right. Um, I'm going to swing the bastard sword. Uh, but first, yeah. how close is she to me? So the radius on, on this usage 
is is when you use it, it's going to be like all your allies within thirty feet. It, okay. It, it's oh, it's and so within 30 and that'll hit everybody, including okay. what guards and whatnot are left. But most of them are like retching and yeah. cowering in fear. Yeah. Unkir is there. Uh, Colvin looks like he survived uh, it. Uh, actually, Sir Falmer uh, is there, and he's still up and <laughs> waving his blade around. Uh, and uh, and uh, but uh, yeah, other than that, it's it's looking pretty grim. It's only it's only you. Yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> okay, so I can't get the flame. No, you 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 oh. you will once once Linnaeus uses her action. Yeah. Okay. But Linnaeus isn't going right now, so you either <clears throat> have to go right now or you delay until she does go. Oh no. I gotta kill this dude. Okay. Um, okay. Swinging the sword. All right. <laughs> that's a nineteen plus thirteen. So that's a tw- what's that? Thirty-two. Hit. Um, and that's gonna be he's dead. So two d twelve. Uh, that's actually going to be a crit. <gasps> oh, <Ooh. yeah>. wonderful. <gasps> Sorry, I just looked down at my AC. This will be mm-hmm. And it yeah. is. <gasps> that's right. a sixteen. Sixteen plus uh four plus right, so uh 20. one. 21. Yeah. All right. Even better. Uh, all right. Uh, your blade slams into the funeral guard. <coughs> it took a bunch of damage, but it's still up. Okay. Oh, that's still just, have attacks. That's, that's attack yeah, yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Let's yeah, go ahead. It, let's keep it moving. <laughs> that's going to be an 18 plus 13. Uh, so it's going to be a, th- what's it, 31. Minus, minus five, five is a hit. 26. That's a hit. Okay. 12. It's going to be a, is that a nine or a six? Six. six. That's an eight plus four, 12, 13. 13 damage, all right. Uh, okay, um, that's pretty beat. You still have one attack. Oh yeah. And take your third, swing for the fences on this one. If it's not super high, don't. Uh, 23 minus 10, so no, 13. Not even close. All right, uh, Liz, it's over to you. All right. Uh, there is one right on top of me, so I am yes. going. I am going to quick draw my striking stuff. Okay. Atlas stuff in my hand, two hands, mm-hmm. and I am going to strike at it with the with the with the stuff. Okay. That's going to be a fourteen for the first one, which I know will not hit. Um, but I'm going to try again. Okay. Better, better. That is going to be a twenty-two. A twenty-two will hit exactly. Awesome. Um, so that is going to be two d eight. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. All right. Uh, uh, for that, and then a third strike. I believe I can do. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's not going to hit. That's All right. Listen. Yeah. Swings wildly, striking the uh, the funeral guard directly, but it's still standing. Omelette. Yes. What's near me? Uh, not any of the funeral guard, but you could take a move to get to one of them. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll take a move okay. to one. There's one that's unoccupied that just killed the guard. Then you have one, leave one on one on uh, two of your friends, and then you have one on Colvin. Oh, but. I'll protect Colvin. <clears throat> All right, you go running over to flank with Colvin. Yeah. You can flank with him if you run outside the barricade. Uh, n- would that bring me out of 30 feet of her? No. <clears throat> Puts her right. What are you doing? I do. I All do. Right. Uh, you go charging out of the barricade to flank with Colvin, uh, and uh, this is going to lower its AC. Go ahead and swing. <laughs> 23. Hit. Great. Uh, 2d12. Mm hmm. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 points of damage. All right. Positive uh, y- damage. Your blade slams into it. Uh, it uh, shrugs off the blow, but it's still up. Attack number two. All right. Uh, no, doesn't hit. All right. And attack. Uh, no, that's going to be it. That's all three of your actions. That is. You had to move. Done. All right. Uh, Omelette has taken her turn. Tariel, it's up to you. Um, I'm going to cast uh, Inspire Courage. Of course. Because of course. And then I'm going to cast Protection on, um, on Linnaeus. Okay. Which um, 
Uh, protection against evil. Okay, yeah, absolutely. So that uh, raises uh, your armor class by one. All right. Okay. And then saving throw uh, and saving throws against creatures and effects of the chosen. Oh, uh, to armor class and saves against these creatures. Yeah. So basically, you're going to get a plus one armor class and saves for the rest of this fight, or as long as that spell lasts. And then mm. plus three against. Because everything here is evil. Uh, and then plus three against effects from such creatures that would directly control the target and against attacks made by summoned creatures of the chosen alignment. Gotcha. Do you have all right. Card? Oh, yes, so that, I do. So that was all three actions. Yes, it was. Linnaeus. Does this counteract the doom at all? Nope. No? no? Nope. Okay. Nope. I that ain't gonna do it. <laughs> no, that's I, that's I, not I, enough to get rid of doom. <laughs> I wrote down all the the stuff that it that doom did, but I, I all you need to worry about is that yeah, if you yeah, start yeah. dying, you will die faster. <clears throat> that's it. That's all that doom does. Drained, um, it drained is the other condition you have, and that that's, that, that that's just giving you a penalty on fortitude saves and reducing your hit points. That's fortitude. it. Okay. Yeah. Um, couple questions. One, yeah. the releasing the thing in the sword. How many actions is that? Two. Two. Okay. Um, is the miasma magic? Yes. Would it dispel magic? You could try. It would be very difficult. Well, it might be very difficult. It's usually opposed by the other caster. So it depends how powerful the other spell caster is. Well, I think he's very powerful. Well, I'm going to pop the sword. Thank All right. You. Yes. So you hold aloft the ever flame. Its light burns brightly. You perform the ritual, you focus your energy on Serenray. The holy light flashes out from it. All of you are ringed in flame. The defenders that are still up, Colvin, uh, Unkir, uh, even Sir Falmer are ringed in this flame. They too are sharing in the ever flame. And as you do so, the ever flame Burns away the black miasma. Oh, yes. <clears throat> it the the miasma scatters from it as mist being scattered before the dawn. Thank. However, Christ. I should note this doesn't remove the doomed or the drained. No, that's, that's already on you. That's it just fortunately prevents it from continuing to pile up. All right. As it floats away, the uh, uh, honor guard hiss and they, they cry out. Uh, they kind of cover uh, up their, their eyes. Uh, it, it's not blinding them, but they they're clearly are, are afraid of it. And the, the light spreads out, eventually reaching the darkened figure that stands at the edge of the town square. And there you see floating two feet above the ground, floating, her arms held wide, no, is Lieutenant Adla Harrison. Oh, She looks at all of you with the deepest no. of contempt. Her oh, pale right. skin, her blonde hair floating up above her, and she screams, Father, I'm home! No! I call, I knew it! I knew it, I too. Knew it. You still have one action. I do have one action. I'm gonna grow Bane five more right feet. Here. All right. Ten feet oh, around me. <laughs> I knew it. Well, I guess I get to keep this. Uh, and love. Goes. Oh God! That bitch is the lich. As she floats <laughs> forward, <laughs> she opens up her mouth to reveal long uh. fangs. Oh shit! <gasps> she has red glowing eyes. She moves forward, seeing you with the ever flame. She holds forth her hand and unleashes a lightning bolt that targets just you. Ooh. It's not even an effective use of her magic, but she doesn't care. She unleashes a lightning bolt that just strikes out at. Do you have a shield though? Uh, no, I, I dropped my shield, but I have a plus one to AC and I have my protection. And Can you, you saving give me throws. a reflex saving throw. Because of the angle that she's firing this at, it literally just hits you and the temple. Oh no, no. not the tempo. Don't forget to add one. Yeah. Whoa. 27. It's gonna make it. <laughs> God. Oh my God, that's so many rolls. Which is good, because it was 42. 
Oh my god. So you only take 21 points of electricity damage. Oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. 21, you said? Correct. Oh, Excuse yeah. the language, but um, oh god. <laughs> oh. The anxiety is building. <laughs> uh, Ellicent moved and cast that spell, and that is the end of her turn. Mm -hmm. Next up, her honor guard goes. Mm. Uh, there are still four of, the, all four of them are still standing. Um, they uh, uh, all cower a bit from the Everflame, but one is going to turn to attack uh, Omelette. Okay. Just got an armor class 31. That's okay. All right. I mean, it hits me, but, and, and he's gonna take damage. Correct. Now that the Everflame is up. Seven damage to you. You take 19 points of damage. You rolled and dealt what, seven to me? Seven. The Everflame bursts out and hits the hits the honor guard. He takes the damage, uh, and it looks like the, the fire burned him extra. Uh, that did uh, a great deal of damage to him. Can you also give me a fortitude save real quick? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Seventeen. So whatever uh, it's doing to me is probably gonna hit. Uh, Seventeen, but with the bonus of the Everflame, I think that might actually. Really? Yeah, because that's kicking into a part of this. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. So moving on. Uh, that was its uh, first attack. Its second attack is a three. That's gonna miss. And its third attack, taking the penalty of ten, is also going to miss. Yes. Next up, I have one facing off against Iculus. Uh, it is going to swing, and it gets a. 30, that is certainly going to hit. Go ahead and do the 2d6 damage to me, as I do nine points of damage to you. So it's an eight to you. Eight to me. Uh, that is 50 plus 555. All right, um, it takes the damage. Once again, the flames reach out, and as, they, as the flames touch its dry, ancient corpse, uh, it burns even more. Fire looks like it does extra damage mm -hmm. to these guys. Um, uh, however, I need you to make me a fortitude save, and then I'm going to roll my next attack. No. And no. Uh, 21. Uh, 21. You managed to resist whatever foul thing it's trying to do to you. It swings two more times, but your defenses are just too stout. It's, it's, it's fists. These things aren't even using weapons. The honor guard aren't even using weapons. They're just hitting you with their fists, um, are, are bouncing off your armor. Uh, next up, Liss. Uh, it swings at you, and I roll a two, which is not going to do it. Yeah! But the second attack is going to hit. It's not going to be a critical hit. Uh, no, a 30 isn't going to be a critical hit on you. It's just nope. a hit. Um, so go ahead and take uh, 16 points of damage as its fist slams into you. Yeah, and I give you four back. Uh, four back to me. Is this only, would this count on spells? that are lobbied at me, like the lightning? Would I be able to? Have... No, okay. no, it doesn't travel back up spells. They, as, as a matter of fact, it wouldn't even apply to someone who hit you with a ranged attack. Ah. They have to be next to you. Okay. All right, um, and uh, then it's going to take its final attack, and that is also going to miss. Lastly, Ooh. there is one uh, of these things that is unattended, and it is it moves over towards Unkir, who is ready to fight it. It rolls a one. Any within 10 feet of me get Bane? Uh, that is perfectly fair. Um, but it uh, goes up to Unkir, swings twice, and misses both times uh, with a one and a four. Go to Unkir. That die needs to warm up. All right. Uh, <laughs> I mean, or, or not. Yeah. I mean, not. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. All right. Uh, next up, Iculus. Yeah, I'm just yeah. going to saw him, saw yeah, him just, in half. Just, just cut him in half. The power of the Everflame compels you. <laughs> okay. So that's, uh, yeah, that's a 16 on the roll. Uh, 16 total. Pl uh, plus one, so 17. Uh, that's that's not going to hit, I'm afraid. That's that's not high enough. Hmm. That was your first attack. Okay. Boom. That must have been a okay. terrible roll. To yeah, it was a high. horrible roll. So that's going to be a 27. Oh, uh, that is a very close. Uh, well, minus five, so it's 22. Still a hit. Yeah, yeah, that's um, still And then with the damage. D so now you get a d12 plus a d6 six. disrupting plus a, d6. plus a d6 fire. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. There you go. Oh. Plus four. It's gonna be a 12 on the damage. Plus four, 16. 16 plus another five. He's gotta be toast now. Uh, 21. Uh, 76, right. Uh, no, he's still up. Oh, he's, he's full of hit points. <laughs> <laughs> His bucket of hit points. One more. But these, these hits are doing pretty dramatic damage to him. Like, 
Like you, you th that slimes into him and, and hurts him. And that bad. one's not going to do anything. Uh, another one. Yeah. That's all three. right. Uh, all right. Iculus swings valiantly. Liss. Uh, yes, I'm going to do uh, three more uh, hits with my striking staff against the one in front of me. Awesome. You are now powered by the Everflame. Mm -hmm. And I'm wielding Adla's staff, but I'm renaming it. It's Liss's staff now. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, uh, that's going to be a, uh, a, 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 a 29. Uh, 29 is uh, going to hit, cleanly. Awesome. Not okay. a crit, but it is a hit. All right. Uh, six plus nine is uh, 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 15. Plus any strength bonus or anything? Uh, 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 16. 16. All right, so 16 damage. Uh, All right, number two, natural 20. Crit. Ooh. Yep. So that is. Oh, this gonna is going to be rough. <laughs> All right. That's uh, nine. Holy crap. Uh, 11. So that's uh, 20. It's 20 times two uh, is 40. 40. So it's 21 plus five. It's 26 oh, yeah, yeah. Right. times two. It's 52, 52 points. Oh, wow. You slam the staff yes. into it, um, and that one crumbles to dust. Lissa's staff. Because you What'd scored you a kill? critical hit. One of, the, one of the things. And when you score then, a critical I'm, hit, that, it crumbles to dust. Yes! Uh, it falls over dead. And then I'm going to put away the the um, the staff, and I'm going to draw my bow. You and quick draw? Gonna be, yeah, I'm going to quick, quick draw, and I'm firing at Adla. You fire an arrow off at Adla. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Come on, Liz. It's mm. not going to hit. All right. Um, the arrow goes sure wide. It's not going to hit. Omelet. <laughs> okay. You are Seeing still there fighting the one that is on Colvin? Yeah. Uh, I, I turn around, though, and I look straight at... Um, Colvin looks entirely distracted right yes. at the moment. Yes, yes. He is. Um, he, you just see him, and in his eyes, he, you just see him mutter, My, my baby girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to full blast... Ray, the light around me, straight at her. You're gonna unleash the uh, Everflame. You will lose its benefits for the entire rest of the fight. It's the most damage, right? You don't know. You haven't unleashed the. Everflame. I ha we haven't done it yet, but as long as it's we can get cookies. as much at her as possible, that's my job. All right. You unleash uh, the Everflame. The light leaves you. The fire is radiant and flies out from you. Give me an attack roll. Nineteen. You rolled a nineteen. On the die, yeah. That is going to hit. <laughs> Roll ten d six. <gasps> how many d sixes do you have, and how many? How many do you need? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Okay. Oh my god. Holy crap! Oh my god. The radiant flame leaves you in a burst. The entire line of it streaks across the battlefield, slamming into Adla. She shrieks in pain. <laughs> Holy crap, that's a lot of dice. Okay, six, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. 38 points of damage and she is vulnerable to that. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the flame, it streaks across the battlefield, screaming into her. The fire surrounds her, it burns her. But as the light slowly fades, you see her scorched on one side, but even as you see that, her pale white flesh slowly starts to restore itself. She stares out at you, snarling in pain, but she is still standing. Mm. The Everflame has left you. Okay. So that was, you did good. That was two of your actions. Unleashing the Everflame is two actions. Two? Okay. Um, you have one left. I I don't want the thing to hurt Kelvin behind me, so um, knowing that I did my best at her and mm -hmm. the rest is up to the party, I swing around at the creature behind me. Go ahead and make your attack roll. Um, that'll be a 21 for the creature behind me. Uh, 21 will hit because you're flanking it. Great. 
And I don't get that die anymore. That's fine. Correct. Four, five, six, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 damage to him. It's pretty badly hurt. Still standing there. Okay. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> that was Omelette. Tariel. Inspire Courage. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to cast Soothe on Linnaeus. Okay. Uh, full level three soothe? Yeah, I'll do full level three. All right, that's 3d10 plus 12. <gasps> so you're going to nice. take 10, 22 points of damage, or points <laughs> of healing, <laughs> healing. You, you heal for 22, oh, okay. yeah. Heal for 22. Everyone's a traitor. Um, <laughs> I'm so just so nervous. You reach out with your healing magic, soothe your friend, that is two of your actions, and you did inspire courage? Yes. All right, so you're all done. And you get a... Uh, it won't stack, but you get plus two bonus to saves against mental effects. Yeah, which isn't going to stack with the protection yeah. that's already already on her. Top of the order, Linnaeus. Okay, how far away is she? Uh, she's currently about uh, forty feet away. Forty feet. Uh huh. Okay. She she had to uh, she had to move a little closer. You know what time it is. It's searing light time. It's searing light time, but I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna try and channel it through the sword. Channel my searing light through the basket, through the sword. Oh, I have to. You have to make your attack roll first. You uh, work the magic, unleash the spell, you burn a hero point. Mm-hmm. Uh, 24. Misses. Oh! The blast of light. The Linnaeus holds up her hand. Uh, sorry, not Linnaeus. Uh, Andla holds up her Spire hand, two? shielding her her eyes from the Wait, blast of light. Spire two? I didn't add my two. Two from what? The inspire. inspire. It's not two, it's just one. Oh, the one. one. I didn't add my one, but it's... So, uh, so that brings you up to what? 25. Oh. Um, the, uh, the blast of light screams past uh, Andla. She holds up her, her hand to shield her eyes from the light and, and looks at you with a sneer because it is now... Her turn. Oh, Actually, sorry, you get one more action. Now that I think about it, sorry, I don't want to. I don't want to rob you of your final action. My one. Sorry, I mean your last action this turn. I don't mean final action. action. I mean sure uh, we'll you see don't. what happens. Sure you don't. <laughs> um, I, I, I. Uh, oh god. Just uh, send a final plea to Sarah and Ray and point the sword right at her. Uh, well, yeah, you can un- unleash a, 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 a bolt of flame, right? You still get the I bolt of flame out of the Everflame. Thirty feet. Oh yeah, it is only thirty feet. Yeah, no. sorry. I yeah, know. Thanks for reminding uh, me. Yeah. yeah, here I was trying to give you. Do some I get a hero point for reminding fire. you? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your effort. You do oh, still have one action. Okay. You can raise your shield, or, or no, are you, you're that's just going to. Not, all right. You, like you, 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 you pray uh, uh, to Saren Ray. You hold out the blade. The uh, the blade seems to surge. The light grows in it. Doesn't have any effect. It doesn't. It doesn't go streaking out or anything. But the blade itself seems to glow with an even greater radiance. Oh, I only have one more third level spell. Adla goes. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's gonna do that. Oh God. Uh, she raises her hand. Oh, yeah, all right. So uh, she is going to uh, raise up her hand and throw a ball of flame into the group of you. This is going to hit everybody. Uh It blasts out and everyone gets enveloped in flame. So can I get everyone to roll me a reflex save? Uh, what do you got? 23. 23 is a fail. What do you got? I crit failed. 21. That's going to be a problem. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, 21 is a fail. Mm-hmm. 29. 29 is a make. 27. 27 is a make. 
All right, here's the thing. Those who made it are going to take uh, 14. Minus five for me. Uh, correct, because of, of the ring. Those who fail are going to take 28. Those who crit fail take 56 points of fire damage oh my God. as the blast of flame envelops you. Oh my God, I'm not dead. You're not dead. I'm not yet. What did you say about for okay. me? The, uh, you made it? You said no. 51. Oh, you failed, so take 28. 28. 50 what? 56 Six. points of fire damage. With her final action, she draws her lieutenant's longsword that is now in her hand. She still carries the blade she carried back when she escorted you to Castle Everstand. It gleams with kind of a dull blackness. You want to twist that dagger one more time? Yes. Yes, I do. All right. Uh, next up, the honor guard goes. Oh, they took they took damage from that. Hold on, let me roll their saving throws. They were in the middle of it. Uh, Adla did not roll, care. We roll damage for Adla and she hit us with. Nope. The, no, because it, no, it doesn't it's work that way. Really Spelling, it was range. Um, one of the honor guard collapses due to the flame. Um, oh, the one that was on me. Uh, yes, actually, that was the one. Uh, the other one over there is going to take uh, some pretty heavy damage. This bitch is and the one over out. there. Uh, but a couple of us are probably going to go down first because uh, we're real, real low. Uh, that one is. Uh, <clears throat> he's still up, but he's really badly hurt. All right. So uh, there are two honor guard left. One of them is on uh, Colvin and Omelette. Yeah. And Omelette just hit it. Um, uh, right after this, by the way, all of the all of the NPCs go. Um, but first, it swings out at you, and it's going to hit. You no longer have the protection of the Everflame, and oh you will take eleven points of damage. Good night. Can I? Are you still uh, okay? Still? Oh, oh my wait. gosh. Can I? Can I liberating step? Yes. So. Oh my gosh. Reduce the amount of damage. Yep. So um, by how much? Eight. 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 So. So instead of eleven, you take three. Okay. Awesome. Uh, then it takes a second swing at you. Thank you. That's also going to hit. That is a twenty-six. Um, okay. That's. Take. No. Oh, Twenty points of damage. I'm still awake. Oh my God. It swings at you um, a third time. Looks. And it's going to miss. Wow. Um, the the <laughs> final one is um, like she's battering, battling against Unkir and Unkir, Sir Falmer, uh, all of the named NPCs that aren't uh, uh, Colvin are currently trying to contend with the one member of the Honor Guard. <coughs> it hits Unkir um, critically. Oh no. Uh, and hits one more time. That's going to do. Leave her alone. Unkir collapses. Um, Unkir goes down. Uh, that is them. Next up, Colvin cries out. Mm. Antla, no, don't do this. Mm. Don't do this, my girl. Oh. Please come back to me. Don't, don't do this. He, uh, he swings out at the honor guard in front of him uh, with his blade. He's going to connect. Uh, or sorry, with his staff. He's wielding a staff, that's right. Uh, but he is wielding a two-handed. So uh, that is going to do that much. Uh, he actually just destroyed it. That Good one goes down. Job, uh, thanks to the Everflame that is surrounding him. He then climbs over the barrier no. and is walking towards his daughter saying, no, no, don't do this. He's trying to convince her. He's going to make a diplomacy check. Doesn't seem to stir her heart, but he's trying. He's trying to get through to her. Uh, that is their turn. Oh, next up, uh, Falmer. Uh, Sir Falmer unleashes a blast of healing. Um, this goes all throughout the group. Uh, he casts a heal spell. Oh my God, thank you. Uh, and that is going to heal everyone for uh, 18 points. Okay, okay. Um, okay, okay. And uh, the honor guard. Uh, uh, crit fails, and well, shit, he destroyed it. <laughs> nice. Oh, awesome. Sir Volmer unleashes a blast of holy radiance. It washes over the last of the honor guard, which crumbles to dust. There is now no honor guard left. There is you, and there is Lieutenant Adla, risen from the grave. She says, 
Come to me, Father. Come to me. I wish to nope. taste your blood. Nope, 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 nope. Don't like that. Iculus, it is your turn. All right. This is what I'm going to do. Um, how close is she now? How close is she now? Mm -hmm, to me. Uh, she is still about 40 feet away. You can take two actions to move up to her. <sighs> I'm going to move up to her. She looks at you with Some a snare and his like, nice face. Well, then I'm swinging. All right. Uh, go ahead and make your attack roll. Shellen comes down, touches the sword. You don't like this evil. And that's going to be a 29. That is a, going to hit. Okay. So. And that's going to be two D6s? Two D6 and a D12. And a D12. Yep. Some of that is fire. Not bad. It's going to be 18 on here. 18 uh, plus, I think plus you got four. an four. Uh, so it's going to be 22. 22. All right. Uh, blades that uh, hit her, her dead flesh do not seem to have as great of an effect, but that does still do some damage. Um, that is the end of your turn. You spent two actions moving. I know. Liz. All right. Uh, uh, hunt prey. Okay. And I'm going to do a, a hunter shot. All right. So that's two. Okay, that is going to be 17 plus 15, which is a um, 32. Two. Uh huh. That's going to hit. Uh huh. Okay. Um, oh gosh, I'm so nervous. And then that's two uh, D6 for the fire and a D6 for it. Okay. Yep. So that's 46 plus. Okay. Um, two, four, seven, uh, 13 for the first hit. Yes. All right. And then shot number two. Uh huh. Okay, that's a uh, twenty-three. Twenty-three will miss. Uh huh. All right, and then uh, two more shots. All right, these it's ones you got to roll crazy. really high. If yep. they're not even high. Um, that is gonna be uh only twenty for the third nope. try. Yep, that's not gonna hit either. Okay. All right. So arrows go flying. One of them manages to connect, hitting Adla's arm. She stares at it with a sneer, but it doesn't seem to have slowed her down. Uh, the others fall short. Omelette. How close is she? Uh, she, from you, about 30, 35 feet. All right. You no longer have the fire of the Everflame. You have a potion. I know, no, no, I know. Um, yeah, I'm popping that potion, taking up two. All right. <sighs> Seven health. All right. I'll add that. All right. Uh, well, then, that, that um, is actually also plus five, so unless you roll oh, seven, so you get another five points. Right, yeah. plus no five. Um, and then... Uh, that was two of your actions. What do you do with your third? Move up to her. You stride up to Adla. Tariel. Inspire courage. All right. Um, <laughs> how, Fills far, everyone. how far away is... Um, is um, omelet for me? Uh, omelet is uh, about twenty feet. Okay, then so I'll just I'll soothe again, third level. All right. Is that your last third level spell? No, I have one more. One more. Um, good, that's good, gonna be good. twenty-seven points. Oh my god. You're twenty-seven dangerous. points. All right. Um, you uh, soothe her for uh, some amount of damage. That was two of your actions, and you you no, inspire curd. So that's all three. Yes. All right, uh, top of the order, Linnaeus. I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time. Question, if I'm channeling it through the sword, do I get the plus two to hit? Uh, no, uh, no, I'm afraid not. Okay. The sword is currently glowing with a brighter and brighter radiance. Worth it, okay. I'm gonna channel it through the basket in the sword. Okay. Point it right at her. <sighs> oh, hang on, hang on, let me do the math. Twenty-six? Hits. Oh, 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 o
strikes out, slams into her. She screams and howls in pain, but as the light fades, she's still standing. She's burned. She's horribly scorched. You have one action left. What are you doing? Okay. Can you see any lighter? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna produce flame. All right, uh, Can I? She, no, she's that's... still too far away, remember? Yeah, you haven't moved yet. Okay, I'm gonna say another prayer to Sarenry and march forward. Oh, you march man. forward. It is now Adla's oh. turn. She looks down at the, uh, the heroes who have approached her. Her blade, naked and drawn, she swings it. She's going to swing this at Omelette. Okay. What'd you get? Armor class 37. Holy yeah, that Jesus is. Louise, please, can you not? Take 46 points of damage. As she drives the blade down between like your collarbone, trying to get in at your organs. And then take eight off that. Take eight off. <laughs> she then makes her second swing. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Armor class 27. That hits for omelet. Is that against me again? Yeah. Oh, God. No, 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 no. 27 hits? Yeah. 27 hits. Take 26. I'm unconscious. Oh, no, 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 no. You go down. You have dying one. Adla looks at you with a grin and stabs at Omelette again. <gasps> she looks you right in the eyes as she stabs at Omelette. And she's going to hit. Okay. You don't take more damage because you're already down. You drop to dying two. You are now one step from death. <laughs> there are none of them left. That was Andla's turn. Some of her wounds heal. How? If I can get close enough. Iculus. Close enough. <laughs> it is your turn. This episode's an R. As right. she stares at you, she says, You are next, my young private. We'll see about that. Oh, man. Iculus oh. activates the crystal. There we go. Oh. Omelette, <laughs> your ancestors are drawing near. Yeah. Um, they Small almost look tear. welcoming. Oh, no, no. Horrible way to go. No, no, no. What do you have for me? No, no, no. Activates a potency crystal. All right. Um, swings hard. Make your roll. They're all familiar faces. That's gonna be a 13 plus 26 uh, plus 27. Hit. And then I've got you. 2d12 plus 2d6 plus four. Do the thing. Do it. Oh yeah, so it's gonna be five and 13. So it's gonna be an 18 plus four, it's gonna be 22. And I have that, or yeah. 22 points of damage. Okay. It is reduced. With the potency crystal? Oh, that's already yeah, no, Sorry, that. she takes less damage from, from all physical attacks. Okay. Antla is still up. The blade <coughs> sinks deep into her. She hisses as it sinks. You can feel it scrape against her dead bones. She is still up and still angry. That was only your first attack. You fuck. That's a crit fail. <laughs> Call upon Shevin to come down and touch my sword. Oh, that's gonna miss. It's a three, but it's a six, and it's gonna miss. Liss. All right. Your action. Yep. Hunted shot. All right. Come on. Uh, that's going to be uh, twenty-five plus twenty-six. Hit. Okay. Uh, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, fourteen for the first one. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. That's 26, uh, 27 for the second hit. With the penalty? Yeah. All right, great. Go ahead and deal damage again. 
Uh, oh my God, yes. <laughs> uh, that's 12. Um, uh, uh, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah. 12, um, 16, 17 for the second one. Okay. Swing, uh, going to do it again. Oh my God. Uh, that is, uh, um, oh God. That's only 23 for the third one. Miss. Yeah. And a miss for the fourth one as well. Arrows go sinking into Lieutenant Adla. She looks down, the wounds, or ash is falling out of them. She looks teetering. She looks unsteady suddenly, uh, as if her focus is failing. Impressed she, now? She, she is looking at her father and says, Father, don't let them hurt me. Um, and he's, he's just weeping as he marches forward. Oh. Tariel. All right, well, sorry for one round. No, that's okay. I'm going to uh, take an action to take out my magic, uh, my wand of magic missile. And I'm right. going to throw uh, two missiles at me. Throw two missiles at you for um, five, six, seven points of d damage. She looks inc in incredibly bad shape. Oh, God. <sighs> Linnaeus. I'm within range. You are? I turn the basket towards her and I produce flame. You're going to produce flame? I'm or gonna you going to send the, the ray through it. Are you going to do that? I thought. I thought the 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 so the produced flame is going to do very little damage. Just so you know, it, it okay. only does a few d4. I don't want to lead you astray. Okay, then I'm just going to explode flame. my aura, the one that I have from the sword, okay. and hit her. So you focus all of your energy. You are unleashing the ever flame through you. Make an attack roll. Oh god! Oh god! god. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Uh. That from her. It's only a 22. A 22. Would normally not hit. However, the surging light in the blade manages it to scar a, a glancing blow. The fire from this scrapes across Adla and does damage. Go ahead and roll 10d6. You're only going to do <laughs> half damage, though. <laughs> Uh, one, what do you two, need? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> that one's cocked. Twelve. Oh, that one was cocked. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Uh. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 blazes through her, it just barely hits her. To be honest, it, it almost doesn't hit her at all. And the light kind of leaves her. She falls to the ground, slumps down, and she's staggering about. She, she looks at her fingers and they start turning to mist. Oh. <gasps> you know what this is, she's, she's a vampire. Vampires aren't easily killed. They return to mist when slain and flee back to their coffins. They're, 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 it's not easy to kill a vampire. Uh, Give me. Uh, 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 wait, do I have an action left? Uh, yeah, you have one action left. You can Only give me one? a religion check. Okay. Um, and light is a touch cantrip, isn't it? Yeah, no, that's not going to do it. Uh, it takes two actions anyway. That's fine. A religion check? Yep. 16. You know very little about vampires. The, the only <laughs> thing that is in the legend of, of vampires, and I lowered the DC way down for mm -hmm. you because of your, mm -hmm. your, your situation. There's one thing you do know, though. The one thing about vampires that you're sure of, the one thing that was drilled into you from very young, vampires can only be killed by staking them. So you need a piece of wood. The banner! Get the banner! <laughs> Omelette is unconscious. <laughs> Omelette, yeah. do you have any hero points left? No. No? Okay. I'm going to come back to you. Okay. Uh, Adla goes and she continues to turn into mist. Iculus, do you have any wood on you? They do. They do. Yes. You stand out of the way. Liz, it is your turn. Yep. Two move actions to uh, to get up to her. Yeah. And I'm going to... I'm just gonna release my my short bow for free and uh. quick draw my um, endless staff, and I'm just gonna try and drive it straight through her. 
She's fading away to mist. She's not resisting. She looks up at all of you as the staff drives through her chest. I was, I was told to give it back to you. And for a brief moment, she just says, Thank you. And she crumbles to ash. As do all of the undead in town. The final battle of Kassen was hard fought. There were many, many, many casualties. No, stabilize. So, you managed to pull through. I stabilize. <laughs> check for you to see whether or not you fell, and you did just barely manage to survive. You saw your ancestors coming to claim you when your friends pulled you back into the light. <laughs> if the first days did after... After the, after the final battle, the people of Kassen gather together once more to mourn, to cherish those who survived, to sing praise, to sing song. The town is not what it once was. There are many, many people who died. This attack was particularly brutal. There were deaths at the North Gate, there were deaths at the East Gate, there were even some deaths over at the West Gate. You lost some friends. In the coming days, the town tried to find a new path. They turned to an old leader to find them a new way forward. Joan R. Coptill was given the title of uh, mayor for the time being. A new election will be held soon. They believe in voting for their leaders. But for now, Joan Arc has shown strength and courage in the face of terrifying evil. As for the others in town, most returned to their ordinary lives. However, there is the question of what happens to the five of you. Joan Arc uh, finds you in the days after and asks if you would stay. The town is going to need defenders. Last wall has fallen. These threats might rear their head again, and, well, I, I might need your help. Would you stay and, and be our knights? John, <clears throat> I, I can't. If, if she was turned into a vampire, that means that there must be someone who bit her, and that means that someone in that tower is even more powerful than she is, and if they get loose, then that's... I can't just sit by and let that happen. I have to go take care of that. He says, I, I, I understand. Mm. That was the duty of the last wall. And we are the last watch of the last wall. Mm. Well, if you, if you will head, head north again, then consider this your, your base. Should you need a place to come back to and, and rest, Cassin will be here for you. You will always be our, our Knights of the Everflame. You will always be welcome here. In the coming days, the town tries to rebuild. They try to get back to their lives. As you are all packing up to perhaps head north again and try and find out more about what has happened there, you're facing an uncertain future. Father Prast finds you uh, all before you leave. He says, he comes <coughs> up to you as you're preparing to depart, and he says, my, my friends, I, I'm so sad to see you go. You've been... Such an inspiration to me. Uh, I realized something. You would ask me to, to look for a thing, and I, I, I canvassed around town, and I was told uh, uh, very little. There was, there was no one who had, who had seen anything about this petal. At least I had thought so until I visited the, the general store. As it turns out, the day before you arrived, someone came into town and sold one of the petals before leaving. It, it happened scant hours before you got here. This was some small halfling, I guess, <gasps> in a red jacket. Oh, <gasps> that son of a bitch! But he left town before anybody could even get his name. He seemed pretty intent upon leaving. We know who he is. He was at the last wall a couple of times. With renewed vigor, the five of you 
begin to follow the trail of one particularly vile halfling. But that is a tale for another day. <sighs> I want to thank you all for watching The Knights of Everflame. If you want to learn more about Pathfinder 2nd Edition, I encourage you to go to Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Dot com. The core rulebook and bestiary, along with a number of adventures and accessories, are available now from Paizo.com and from your favorite local game store. If you want to catch more of my adventures, you can find me every Thursday running the Oblivion Oath, a Pathfinder 2nd Edition ongoing campaign run on the Paizo Twitch channel at twitch.tv backslash official Paizo. Once again, everybody, I really do want to thank you for watching, and we will see you later. Bye, everybody.